Are we live? Whoops. Are we live? There we go. Whoops. Are we live? There we go. Okay, let's continue with space exploration. With our vanilla core fragments now coming into both sides of this block. Nice. Um, so, we've basically got things going here, but we've got a lot of... We've got a lot of stuff we need to build again. Why can't I place this? Oh, there we go. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, we've got... Do I actually have room for a block there? I do. Something to bear in mind. Uh, it should probably be... I was going to say it should be something that consumes water. What's our rate of water consumption in this block? Not that much. 440. We could probably have the water go through here. Um, but yeah, basically, we need to go through the basics all over again in our rail network. But for Hagen, um, we do have a steady flow... Well, I was going to say we have a steady flow of resources coming from Nalvis, but it's actually using too much energy. One thing I forgot to take into account is it takes more energy to fire the delivery cannons the further the cargo needs to go. And Nalvis is almost as far as we can get from Hagen, really. So, I can't go back to Nalvis. I mean, I can, but I don't want to um, go back to Nalvis. Where's our spaceship? The Lance. Oh, right, I changed it. Uh, let's send this thing back to Hagen. So, it'll be there when I need it. Um, I think it's... I think this is its maiden voyage, actually. We should probably pay attention. It's not automatically moving. Why not? Oh, because I haven't given it a destiny. No, it is moving. What? Oh. Hang on. Oh, I set its target speed to 1. Just to make sure I wouldn't... Yeah, 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 because we don't have an accumulator on this thing. It's going to be quite slow. It's the smallest ship we could make with our ion, with our four ion booster tanks, uh, pretty much. Um, so we don't have an accumulator to measure how much spare power we have, and I'm guessing this is going to look bad whenever, yeah, whenever the engine fires. Um, actually, I want to see what happens. If I was, if I were to save scum, I would like to see what happens if I set this thing to go as fast as it can. I would imagine the laser will take priority over the engine, uh, and therefore we won't get fast enough, especially since... Uh, we pr probably won't get fast enough to run into an asteroid, but if I'm wrong about that, how am I going to rescue the ship? How fast can we go? Oh, 40. Jeez. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. That's faster than I thought the ship would go. Without a... With only one solar panel, that is. You mean send the pencil back, indeed. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this, more Factorio? Yeah, I just felt like it this week. Maybe I'll make it... Maybe I'll make my schedule like three days of Factorio again. We'll see. Good thing it's too narrow to hit much. Yeah, that's part of the... Uh, that's part of the appeal. We don't have to spend that much power on the laser turret. 
Uh, how far has it gone? It's almost to the first moon. That's not that bad, considering what this is. Like, literally the smallest thing we could make. Um, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I don't want to have to go back to Nalvis to do the power management. So I'm thinking what I could do instead is just add a timer to um, to our request system. And we're just going to request... Uh, we're just going to pulse this through for a few... For just a few... Like five ticks. Just long enough for inserters to pick things up off of the belts. Um, oh, it's yellow inserters. So let's make it like... 20 ticks, just to be sure. The arm is definitely going to be finished swinging by then. So, we'll need a decider combinator and a constant combinator. T for time. And if T is less than... How often should we fire the cannons so that we don't run out of steam, literally. Um, I think we can reconnect this now. Actually, no, no, no. I do want to keep that as just the emergency batteries. Otherwise, it'll be feeding itself with the electric boiler. That'll be a big waste of energy. Um, we can't read an accumulator but what we can do oh it's morning now i'd like how long is the day on nalvis why don't we do it once a day for starters uh do we not have that information really uh, oh, here it is. 6.94 minutes. Okay. Uh, 6.94 times 60 times 60. Uh, 24,984 ticks. 24,984 ticks. Uh, so when we reach that number, we're going to reset the timer. And we're just going to say... Um, it doesn't matter if we send a T signal, right? So I think we'll connect this back to here. And this one, whoops, up here. I know I could do that with one combinator. In fact, let's do that. T. Okay. Um, so it's only gonna... It's only gonna be a memory cell for the T signal. So these will all be value of 1. Um, I... Whoops. I forgot. We're gonna need another combinator. Whoops. Okay, I, I want to hurry up and do this, like, in the middle of the day at Nalvis. Which is going to be in about a minute or two. Um, okay, so we want... If T is... I could do less than... Uh, like, less than 10, but then if for some reason we're not receiving a signal, um, there would be problems. So let's go... Um, if T is greater than this, in the last 10 ticks, we're going to output everything. To this combinator. What's this say? Each equal to one, output each one. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're checking that there's, that the chests are empty. Uh, and we can just do output everything times one as well, just to be sure. Alright. 
so um, as of tomorrow on Nalvis in about the middle of the day uh, once per day we should fire the cannons and I could set it to do it a bit more frequently um, preferably a few times during the day if we can afford uh, if we can afford the energy overall Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Why is this not connected? Okay, that should actually be fine. It was already up to 2k. That'll probably work out about right. Praise the K. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I learn so much sometimes. Nice, thank you. Good thing it's too narrow to hit much, my typing. Uh, Gnikivdlob, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't know how I missed that earlier, actually. Okay, so we're sending, uh, for the moment at least, as of tomorrow, we're sending um, up to 16 delivery cannons of stuff once per day. Um, that is 676.31 megajoules times 16. Uh, 10.8 gigajoules. Really? And an energy beam is... The biggest one we've seen so far is coming up at 6 gigajoules. But it's usually like 2.4, I think, that hits Nalvis. So once per day, where theoretically, if every cannon fired, which it won't, but most of them probably will, um, or several of them at least, we will be spending more energy uh, once per day sending items from Nalvis to Hagen. Um, wow, that really is on a different scale from what I was expecting. Um, alright, we'll see how that goes. I kind of want... I kind of want to be alerted for testing reasons. Uh... I want to be notified when this is about to happen. So if we're looking for... Greater than this number... Let's see. Show alert... And then, uh, delivery and then it's about to fire if T is greater than this number let's bring it back several seconds and which alarm should I go for? don't know. That'll do. That's, I might miss that. Okay, that's good. That's a good alert sound. I like that. It's not too obtrusive. Dance music time? It's not too obtrusive and we can definitely hear it. Okay. Can you base it off the accumulator charge? I can, but... It's on another planet, and I don't have accumulators close to those cannons. Uh, nor can I put power switches there. Oh, this is still connected? Did I change something? How did I switch these off earlier? Oh, right, 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 I forgot. I simply stopped sending the signal to request that they be fired. Alright, so how long till... It's 17k now, we're looking for 24k. 
So it's only a few more minutes, actually. Let's build some rail in the meantime and figure out our next move. I think our next move is just copy-paste and maybe slightly update uh, some more basic rail block production. I do want to try and decide... Oh yeah, I already did decide ahead of time. This block here is going to be where we build our mall. get some more rail then. Do you need global playback? Uh, I don't know if I do. Okay. Uh, where was it? Here? Sounds created by the speaker will be heard everywhere on the map. Yes, that's probably a good idea. All right. What was I coming back for? Rail. I don't think we've automated it yet. We do have uh, a lot of steel beams, and we should have stone in the network. Oh, I see. We do not have stone in the network. Um, could I maybe upgrade all of these if we've got the chests? And then... Oh, already. Alright then, let's see. Hagen. Cannons should be... Firing. Fantastic. Now how much power is left in the accumulators? It didn't even budge. Really? Uh, okay, so the... The accumulators are staying full, but they were charging the cannons. Hmm. It was only two cannons, though, I think. Um... I'd like to do this with... without making multiple timers. But I want to avoid doing it at night, and it seems like we could get away with doing it more frequently. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe we'd get through the night okay if we just do it every... I don't know, minute? Two minutes? Let's say two minutes. See how that goes. Um, so that is 60 times 60, 360, 3600 uh, times 2, that's 7200, 7200 and let's say 7190, so we have 10 ticks where the inserters can work, um, and I'm not overly interested in watching a specific singular shot now. We just want to have a look at the power network after it's been going for a little while. So there should be some shells on the way right now, I imagine. Yeah, there they are. It looks like we're going to take a shot in the middle of the night. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sure it'll... Because we're doing it every two minutes, and it's approximately seven minutes for the day-night cycle, um, we're definitely going to end up doing that sometimes. Unless I set it to an exact fraction. But then it could be like one tick off or something. All right, let's get some rail.
And there's no iron sticks needed, it's just steel beams, so we don't have to worry about the prereqs. Um, queue up a thousand rail. Actually, how much goes into one of these blocks? 1.2k. Alright, better make it 2,000. Hey, Michael. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Show me the stats of the place you want to go to. Oh, you mean for my main base? Uh, this is it. This is Hagen. Um, so it's nice and close to the interstellar map. Uh, day-night cycle is almost 17 minutes. Um, although it's so far away from the sun, we definitely don't want to be using solar. Uh, zero biters. Uh, 3810 radius. Cryo ores, yes indeed. We've already... I know cryonite for the longest time, um, it's very easy to get enough, but I'm actually a little bit shocked at just how quickly we got cryonite powder completely saturated just from core mining. And it was literally just one core mine as well. Um, but that said, I was thinking about this a bit more. Uh, the size of the rail blocks with the two cargo wagon trains uh, is... It just works out much better than my last um, my last playthrough for the purpose of... Let's get this robot pod over here. Uh, actually, we don't need it yet. The relative rate of production in the rail blocks compared to the train size is much, much faster. It's not just like twice as fast as before. So my old rail blocks, let me, wait, 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 before I forget, I was coming here to fill this. There we go. Um, last playthrough, my rail blocks, where are they? Um, season two rail, is that it? No, that's definitely not it. Uh, I, I don't know where they are. LTN? That's just station. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's one of my old rail blocks. So it's like 20% wider than the current ones. And we were using uh, four, four cargo wagon trains. But it's not just we have that much less space compared to that much less uh, train. It's also with the way that we generally end up producing things in columns. Uh, a lot of space would tend to get wasted, more or less, uh, with the old blocks as well. I mean, a lot of space is going to get quote-unquote wasted anyway, but... Um, I think the tendency of the way things end up being shaped with production and how how easily we can comfortably fit X amount of stuff, um, it really more so lends itself to it does not take very long at all to fill up our trains. Um, no Terraria today? No, I'm doing a little bit more uh, Factorio this week. Jimbo Panda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really liking... Uh, the trains are a lot more maneuverable, so it's not particularly bad that they have to move more frequently. Um, but I'm really liking how we fill up a train load of stuff just super quickly. Um, I'm having no trouble keeping everything saturated in this base so far. It almost makes me look competent or something. Cool, I'm doing well, thanks. Nice, good to hear. Have you looked at engine units for the train grid? Uh, do you mean... Uh, 
like si single cylinder, multi cylinder engines, uh, electric motors. It's a Crest Torio thing. The train has an equipment grid. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I haven't done that. Oh, you mean... I think I built, like, two engine things, because I was thinking about putting them in the car. Engine... Additional electric engine... Additional electric engine two... Apparently I don't have it. I could have sworn I made a couple of these and that I was very disappointed. But there's cert there certainly wouldn't be any harm in putting them in trains if that helps. The GigaChad move is to give trains those for maximum acceleration. They're really good for trains, yeah. Um, I'm certainly not going to be... What's this? Did I mean to put this chest here? I don't think I did. I think I was putting this here as like a blueprint to demonstrate something while I was talking about how the bulk raiders, uh, bulk raiders? Bulk loaders work, unloaders, uh, with nearby chests. And then this ended up happening. And I can't just pick a dollies it away because the bulk rail unloader won't recognize that the chest is missing, and it'll keep dropping items. Uh, I need I need more inventory space. Let's pave our future mall. Get my inventory space back. Out of the station to the main line, it's 250 kph. Wow. Uh, where am I going? It's the one thing I miss from Crastorio. Fair enough. Uh, give me all of this back. Fantastic. How much rail have we made here? About... Oh. About 1.2k. Just enough for a rail block. Trains go burnt, indeed. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get our bots going. Can I ask, can anyone hear some background noise? Nope. Fantastic. Thank you, filters. Just the hum of bots and your soothing voice? Uh, thank you. But that is good to know, though. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I got nothing but... Oh, no, I didn't. I was going to say nothing but coal from that rock. That was weird. Well, so I thought. Um, do I have enough stuff to build the mall that I want to at this point? Not really. Oh, there's our cannons. Let's have a look at the power network on Nalvis. Um... There was a big accumulator spike when we fired the cannons, but it looks like we got through the night with no trouble. So yeah, I think firing the cannons every couple of minutes should be fine. I took your advices once more and scaled back science calls. <laughs> Indeed. I think uh, one thing I've definitely learned uh, at least for space exploration, you really don't have to go fast with science because 
it, unless you want to do that at the end game, that's fine. But like, as you go, your science is going to get finished every time. Like, every possible research you can do is going to get done before you are ready to research the next... Uh, before you have another type of science finished. Um, oh, right, I forgot. Inventory. So you may as well not build your science that big, unless you want to try doing a mega base at the end. Um, Alright, I'm just going to mark this on the map. I don't really have much inspiration right now for exactly what I want to do uh, with our mall. I mean, it's going to be train stations in and auto crafter and maybe some train stations out with a smart loader from the logistic network. But especially as I'm lacking um, nice big requester chests, uh, I'm not going to be building the version of this that I want to just yet. So we may as well focus on just expanding our basics for the rail network. Where's our copper coming from? Oh, I don't have copper in the rail network yet, unless you count core mining. I'll put this here... So I was asking for 1k per minute on all tier 4 sciences, then realized that's huge. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is true, indeed. Yeah, you'd, you'd, ha you'd be very hard-pressed, uh, at least in space exploration, to build science um, that will be completely automated at any speed. And then build the next science with under the same conditions without getting all of the research done for that previous science. Until you get to the point of doing some of the infinite researches or just very big upgrades to like very expensive upgrades to productivity bonuses and stuff like that. Unless you're doing a million times science like uh, like Michaelat but who would do that, honestly? That that seems... That seems a bit silly. This is only 6.5k stone, so a chest will be fine. What a nerd, right? Um, we're going to need a bunch more rail. Red belt... I am tempted to just use blue belt everywhere because if we've got a bunch of it stashed, but how much red belt do I have here? Oh, I limited it too much because I was trying to make fast belts. Even so, we're not making it that fast. Uh, I guess I really should do the rail mole a bit sooner. Do I not have... Oh, I don't have loaders, as opposed to unloaders. But... At the same time, I'd like to get some basics, like for instance, Iron Gears, finished in the rail network. Before we do them all. I guess I could do a temporary version that just goes straight from Iron Plate, Copper Plate, Steel Plate... To everything else. We'll make it take advantage of the ingots. That was kind of the point. Okay. Give to me the bots. Get back in my inventory, please. Thank you. And then... Uh, I don't think I have loaders automated just yet. Let's see. I do not. 
loader. What is that? Disable rail loader signal. Hmm. Okay, uh, ten of these. And ten of these. Seems like we have to finish rail first, but I would like a few immediately. It was really just the loaders that I need straight away, so let's do that. Who is the nerd? Uh, definitely not Mike Lett. He would never. Where's my rail? Here it is. And loader? I don't know where those went. Here it is. And then... Can't think of anything else right now. Let's just go. He is Canadian? Can a Canadian not be a nerd? Do I want to use a bulk? Probably not. Actually. Uh, I probably don't want to use a bulk rail unloader in this case. Because we want to put things into... Well... We're going to put it all into an active provider. Ch Do I only have one active provider? That's going to be a problem. I think it's literally just the one active provider chest. Which means... Uh, maybe we should put things into a giant storage chest instead of the active provider chest when we take from the... Uh... Auto crafter. This is going to be challenging. Make an auto crafter with like one active provider and a station. Oh, it'd be an unloader, wouldn't it? Actually, I should make that blueprint now. Right about... Oh, that doesn't line up. Can I just do this? Unloaders... Uh, station... Two of these... For our symbols... Just like we did with the first one. Oh, I see. Blueprint. Where is Blueprint? It's under Equipment and Combat. Damn it, that looks wrong still. Actually, it kind of lines up better. Maybe this one should change. Nah. Blueprint. Right, bulk rail unloader. Okay, cool. So I can always build one of these a bit more easily now. Um, I was gonna say... I was gonna say we should have just one of these, but that's not quite right. How many stacks? Like 600 or something? 620? 610 we get from a cargo landing pad. I'm very tempted to use it. How far away is next logistics? Uh, do you mean research? Oh, it's very far away. We need f material science too. That's going to be a while. 
How about we just use a giant chest um, in the meantime? By which I mean cargo landing pad. This way we can have many resources dropped off. And then I've got more fast loaders. At least it's symmetrical. I think he meant the requester chests. Oh, oh right. Logistic system. Uh, we need utility science packs, which is what we're capable of getting from Cryonite, from Hagen. So we just need to build this base out, uh, get into orbit, uh, and build a science base up there. Which won't have any space rail, so at first I just want to do a little baby uh, spaghetti science thing so that we don't have to build out much stuff that we'll have to remove later. Um, Alright, so what are we requesting here? Everything? Uh, let's see... Requester... Um, I'll probably end up having to do multiple fluid drop-offs. I can do as many as two. Well, theoretically I could do as many as four in one place. Since I can fit four different pumps coming off of this. Um, but some of the pumps would, ha uh, some of the fluid containers would have to be in weird places. I think I'd rather just have more stations. Um, but I definitely want... Let's go finish this train stop. Now we have gears. So we want iron plate, iron gears, copper plate... Oh wait, no, I want to request ingots. Well, maybe both. Let's just start with the ingots. So we've got three types of ingots, and then rare metals. Um, I'll just go for a little bit more than one train load of each, since the trains really, really, really won't have to go very far. Um, ingot. We're going to have to request a lot of stuff to this station eventually, I think. So I'll put these aside from the LTN Combinator. How much is a train load? Uh, 2,000, 4,000. So let's go for 6k. And steel ingot. And I think I'll set this apart from the auto crafter. We'll just do ingot in, ingot out right here. I need some more inserters. Gordon Freeman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry I got inter interrupted from watching stream right after I asked my question. Did I miss my answer? Uh, what was the question again? Uh, how do you deal with more than, more than enough resources put into the autocrafter when it switches recipes or is input exactly limited? Yeah, um, so there's a couple of ways. First of all, we can... The most uh, easy but not perfect way is we have a set filters blacklist uh, on a filter inserter that's facing the requester chest uh, that has set requests 
for the crafter. So once once it switches recipes, theoretically anything that's not supposed to be in this chest immediately gets put into the active provider chest. Um, you will run into some issues with like only being able to fit so many filters, uh, and it or if you use a whitelist. Um, well, no, even if you use a blacklist, uh, it could take some items out of here that it's not supposed to. With a couple more combinators, you can have instead of like instead of a whitelist or blacklist, um, as you normally do, you basically subtract everything that's in here and end up with a whitelist of stuff that doesn't belong in the chest. Although, since we can't directly read contents of a chest that we're setting requests for, um, that's not really going to work out so well. Unless you have, like, a request a chest and then another chest here so that you can read it. Um, I also have, you can see a couple of examples here, uh, common input items just on static requester chests that are always linked to the uh, to the assembler. Um, so that'll greatly reduce the amount of items that we need to put in this chest dynamically. What was I coming back here for? Uh, assembly machines. Did I turn my requests off? I did. Makes sense, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, let's head over. It's a short trip. I need to get some copper into the network. Oh wait, I forgot. We're doing ingots. I eventually need to get some copper into the network. So we're going to go iron plate from cop, uh, from ingot, copper plate from ingot, steel plate from ingot. How fast is this? Uh, it's very slow going in and much faster going out. Uh, but we should probably limit I'll do a red wire for these ones. So it's not talking to LTN. Uh, if steel plate less than... Whatever we're requesting... From the rail network. Iron plate, copper plate, and steel plate have the same stack size. I'll be requesting a train load and a half. So it gets down to half a train load before we... Actually, that would be 60 stacks. We could fit 10 different things from the train network. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that's not that bad. It, it'll work for now. No, I'll set it so that... I don't know. We'll change it if and when we have problems. Um, if steel plate is less than a thousand... Let's just bring nothing but ingots in for the mall. That might work. And maybe some more refined stuff, like uh, cogs and so on. Iron plate less than a thousand... And are we not requesting this yet? I didn't switch this on. That's why. This is one of the reasons I like to... Um, have the extremely high provide and request thresholds so that if we're not done with this, uh, these, signaling setting, uh, these signal settings just yet, this won't actually activate until we give it the thresholds. Uh, lighted substation, go here. 
There should be a train scheduled to bring us ingots any second now. Any second now. 6,000 over 50. 120 stacks, 1.5 trains. Request stack threshold 80. Combinators are on. Trains are ready to go. So what's the problem? Also, we can stop with the um, we can stop with the processed fuel now and this as well Are we requesting? Yeah, we are. Okay, what about over here? Why... Why is our train not bringing ingots? Oh, I think I know. No? Oh! Well, there's your problem. Uh... Alright, let me... S instead of pasting this over the top, and then... having to start over with the station names. Let's just copy the constant combinator. And they're all going to be the same. Just to provide stack threshold and a train length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And train should be scheduled to pick one of these up in a few seconds. Or not? Oh, there it is. We're already seeing LTN's response time dip on average, it seems. I didn't change the settings, did I? No. Mod LTN. Uh, update frequency ticks is 2. What's the default? Oh, this is the default. How fast stops and requests are updated? Higher numbers improve performance by spreading out updates over more ticks. When set greater than 1 forces updates per tick to 1. Okay, so we're pretty much at the maximum responsive, uh, responsiveness at the moment when I'm trying to save UPS. So I don't know why LTN is taking that long at this point. But there's our ingots and therefore iron plate. Um, I would also like to request gears... Uh, let's see. 8,000, 12,000 should be 1.5 trains. My LTN take about 15 seconds to send requests. That's why I'm migrating to vanilla. I mean, it won't impact things overall. But, uh, I was really surprised... When I changed the settings um, later on as to just how aggressive I could have LTN be, and it didn't really impact performance. Uh, people, people say, oh, the train system, it's got to be destroying UPS. But no, when we actually look at the numbers, it's surprisingly small. And I could actually probably set this to just exactly one train load. So we'll let it run out of ingots before we deliver more. 
because it's actually this copper... It's actually the plates that we're interested in. My trains are using between 1.5 to 2 milliseconds. LTN Manager eats a ton of UPS in my save, though. Really? Maybe I should remove it. I can't actually use LTN Manager with this save. Uh, for some reason, the combination of LTN Manager and having this uh, editing space with editor extensions uh, causes it to crash. Okay, so we want a assembly machine Mark III. We want some speed modules. And... Oops. We'll want a crafting combinator. I think I already have one lying around back here that I was using to demonstrate something. One less item lying around until the end of time. Whoops. Crafting combinator is here. Uh oh. Let's get rid of this coal. And we're going to be needing. Uh, I don't particularly want to destroy this at the moment. Let's see. Chest. We're already holding and looking at all of the requester and active provider chests that we have. Okay. I can make the autocrafter do basic prerequisites, but I think it's better to do them elsewhere. Let's see. Crafting combinator. Uh, overflow chest behind. Keep crafting until zero. Input and output. And instead of reading... Hmm. I could limit the input of ingots from here to here. So there's more space in this uh, container. I could also make another cargo landing pad, and that can be the output. That might not be the worst idea. That might be a really good idea, actually. So we just need a lot of steel, a lot of concrete, and some radars. Ten radars, to be precise. Where's our steel? Oh, there's no steel ingots here yet. Because we didn't get enough. Oh, I stole some. I forgot. I took it to the uh, to the other auto crafter that I already made. All right, steel ingots. Get in there. And then those are surprisingly slow. Okay, give to me the steel plate. Can we make five more of these? We need stone brick. Stone brick. And now we need more steel. Alright, that's all the radars. And then we need... A thousand steel, a thousand concrete. And then even more steel than that. Uh, I don't suppose we have a thousand steel lying around. Actually, we might, because I was converting all of the ingots to steel. Oh yeah, fantastic. Alright, so... I guess... Take these... Oh, I see. I see how it is. Take these away for the moment, please. Give to me a thousand steel. 
Would have been easier to click ten times, I guess. And a thousand concrete. Uh oh. 1.6k concrete. Okay, good. We do have it. In fact, that is 1,077. And we need just a little bit more steel. Nice. Um... I guess some of the stuff that this builds can be prerequisites for what it is building. So we could do... How about input, 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 output? We're going to end up with... Uh... We're going to end up with some of the output in this chest, because overflow chest, though. Just have to deal with... Actually, no, this makes sense. You'll finish SE by the time the Factorio expansion comes out? Not me, surely. I'm not doing the early game grind again. I'm over that. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. No, oh, Andy. Indeed. Alright, so... We want... We want a bunch of constant combinators to say... This is what we want crafted. We want to read... Uh, we want to subtract from that what we've already got. We want to send that signal uh, to our crafting combinator, but only after removing the negatives. So give me a decider, and we may as well do an anything. Maybe that's why I had an anything. So we're just picking one signal out of all of these. This might actually be a lot better than a totally bot-based system. Uh, and this goes here. Is that about it? Each times negative one. Output each. And power. It's not going to look great no matter where I put it, I think. How about this? Alright, so... Did I not request gears? I did. We've definitely got a train load of gears, and the train should be able to path there. So what's the deal? 12k gears is 120 stacks. Request stack threshold 80. Oh, there are gears here. I just can't see them with those four items displayed. Fantastic. Alright, so what do we make? Uh, what's something we can make with plate and gears? How about belt? Uh, we need single cylinder engines. I don't want to make single cylinder engines here, so let's add that into the rail network. I kind of want to squeeze it into here. Instead of making another block. Nah, let's leave room for expansion. It's also easier this way. Single cylinder engine. 
Uh, if I don't already have assembly machines being auto-crafted, I definitely should. Let's switch this one off. And this one. Can I downgrade an LTN station to a vanilla station with the upgrade planner? I don't think so. Uh, whoops. You can simply use an LTN station like a vanilla station. Oh no. Oh no. I have no repair packs. Uh, give me some stone. Which, for some reason, we need for repair packs. I really should... Uh, there we go. I really should not have a flamethrower equipped. We'll potentially waste a tiny amount of Tesla when I misfire. It's fine. I need more rail. I need more red belt. Uh, I need to update this spaghetti. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this already, Mikelat, if you were still here yesterday. But look at how neat this is. Both of the bulk rail unloaders will input directly into the delivery cannon chest. And then we can just take outputs from it. Very tempted to use blue belt just because of that. Neat, right? Yeah, I didn't realize this whole time I actually do have 3x3 three three chests. Well, someone may have suggested it at some point. It looks just a little bit weird because it's a delivery cannon chest, but I think it's worth it considering the alternatives. Let's get a... I don't have a substation. A substation right about here. Let's go get it. And this is going to be a lot neater as well. How fast is this? It's only 60 per second, but I built it to withstand four belts. So let's assume four belts. And it works on the opposite end as well, uh, going into the loaders. So we just need one, two, three, four. Actually, this might be a little bit neater looking. Actually, I think we have to physically place that for it to be placed properly. You're kidding, is that is this one off? But yeah, it is. Rip. I already knew that. Let's go get some more red belt. You're just using it as a 4x4 four four container? It's actually smaller than a steel chest, but the point is that uh, with the bulk rail loader mod, um, if you place chests in certain positions, it's easier to see with these. Um, any of these tiles that look like kind of like brick that are not physically taken up by the bulk rail loader, uh, if you put a chest here, 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 or here, um, the loader or unloader will automatically uh, interact with that chest. It'll automatically load or unload things. So I don't actually need any belts, uh, inserters, loaders, or anything to take from delivery cannon chests and put them into these bulk rail loaders. 
which makes this whole system just incredibly neat and compact. And that's when I realized, oh, it'll look just a little bit strange because it's a delivery cannon chest, but we can just do this everywhere in order to balance our stuff coming from the uh, input or output f from the rail network. Why is this flick flickering? Oh. Oh, I forgot about this mine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, red belt, that's what we need. And it's on the way already, but I'll take it from here. That's not a whole lot of red belt. We're running out. That's why we're trying to get it done now. That's the first thing I'll have the autocraft to do, I think. It's 3x3, three three. yes. It is the only 3x3 three three chest we have, I believe. Um, What was I doing? Oh yeah, finishing the build for... Uh, single cylinder engines. I don't think we have enough. We definitely don't have enough. Ironically, what we need is single cylinder engines. Is the train not able to get here? It is not. There's just a tiny bit of rail missing. And it's on its way. Fantastic. Let's rescue this bit of rail here. Uh, I didn't pick up a substation. I can make one. And then... More belt. This changes everything, right? Yeah, look how neat this is. Beautiful. Especially after last playthrough where I had to go through so much just to get uh, a good managed output of uh, from the rail network. Oh, I actually still have quite a bit of red belt here. Neg negative 13. Okay, that's not as much as I expected. I, I definitely expected a positive integer. Alright. Um, over here. There's our iron. We also need gears, which should be on their way. Yep. Here they come. And then I forgot to request... I did not forget to request a substation. We've run out of them. Which means we need to hurry up and get advanced circuits in the rail network. Or just in general. Fuckboy not so slim. Thank you very much for the 10 months. Much appreciated. Uh, 10 months with Prime was it? Or got a sub with Prime. Indeed. No, I very much appreciate the Prime sub. Thank you. Let's get these blue inceptors, which I guess we're running out of as well. Maybe I should have uh, not used the bots to build some of this stuff and just built the minimum to start with. I've missed a few streams since I'm busy on weekends. Where are you up to slash what's the base like? Uh, this is our entire base, pretty much, on Hagen. Uh, so this is going to be the mall. We've got oil, uh, iron plate, cryonite from core fragments, a bit of... Oh, that's where the oil is. Uh, we've got gears. I think th that's what we've got up here. Yes, indeed. And we've got single cylinder engines now. And I'm trying to put together a... 
uh, an auto crafter that doesn't depend on bots. So we're using a couple of giant containers for that. We'll see how that goes. Why is this not outputting? Oh, I forgot to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot we need a shared belt. Okay. Uh, do we have room? 60, 60. So that's two red belts of each. Hmm. If I've left room for four belts of output, that implies I want to have four belts of input. Actually, with prod modules it won't be as much, but I wonder if this is the first case since we started doing that, uh, since we started doing this, where the delivery cannon chests won't be good enough. I could always do two delivery cannon chests. Yeah, that's actually pretty easy. But for now, I don't think it's necessary. Um, we're just going to go for one belt of each. So, yeah, no, I think actually we do need this. Oh, it's doing the iron plate first. Uh Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixed mixed input. Okay. Okay. We're definitely going to need to do this one a bit different. Um I don't really want this train showing up right now. Also, I have to move things. How many stacks is this? 320 as opposed to 96. Um, let's just empty that for the moment. Just the train unloading mods makes it look different. Yes, indeed. It's a lot neater for the most part. Alright, let's take this stuff off the belt. What a mess. Something to bear in mind. This layout only works for single single resources, at least for input from the rail network. And probably for output as well, unless we... Well, no, as long as we don't fill these, if we're doing a shared output, that'll be fine. Okay. So there's, it's not like we can put a filter. Yeah, we're not we're not going to be able to use the delivery cannon chests, in this case. All right. Uh, I think we don't need these inserters actually. Let's just go with emptying this. Then we'll use even distro. To rebalance it. And I think 
think we'll just go with... Okay, this output is fine. But I think we probably will just go with the original input design. Where's our single cylinders? Here they are. That's actually pretty neat. Alright, get rid of these belts. And this goes here. Don't need the trees though. There's like zero trees on this planet. I'm kind of looking forward to adding some. We need quite a lot of concrete and steel. Oh wait, this is 4x4. Four four. Even so, I need 100 steel. Love that O2 maker design? Uh, thank you. It's the least bad one I could come up with. Uh, give me some steel. Fantastic. How you copy-paste trees? It's a mod. Unfortunately, it has the downside of... Actually, now that I think of it... Tree. Tree x-ray? No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'd like to be able to have trees in blueprints, but not copy-paste. Doesn't look like that's an option. Uber Skiff, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that's actually quite neat. Satisfied with that. Alright, so now we have single cylinder engines in the rail network. These are indeed set up wrong, because I couldn't set it up correctly with the uh, uh, shift click. Are these getting distributed evenly? Because of the stack sizes being greater than one, with the invisible inserters that are doing this work, we're ending up with this being a bit imbalanced. That could be a little bit bad. It's not severe, but still. Hmm. But look how neat this is. It's like 10% or like 5% behind on the, the one at the back. Well, if we follow the principle of making sure that we have every intermediate product oversaturated at every step of the way through production, then it shouldn't matter. But still, I don't love it. I also don't love this uh, blinding brightness. Let's get some stone. Speaking of which, we will need stone delivered here. That'll make it a bit easier to expand the the stoning? The stone floor? Do I have a stone mine? I mean, I've got one, a little baby one over here. I don't have one for the rail network. Just yet. Is that really all the stone in the immediate area? Wow. Oh wow, I didn't realize stone is, like, just as bad as coal on this planet. 
that's something we're going to be a little bit more reliant on imp uh, imports for. Yeah, it's actually terrible. Stone is not very common here. Luckily, we get stone from lots of side products. But still. Let's check again um, what kind of core fragments we have in this planet. We have Nalvis, of course, uh, Vulcanite, Crude, Rare, Rare, Beryl, Copper? We have Copper. It's quite small, though. Vitamalanche, Mineral Water, Rare Metals again, Iridite, Iron as well. I forgot we had both Iron and Copper. They are rather small, though. We've got two small moons for Iron and one small one for Copper. Uh, but it's bigger than the iron ones. Ryanite, we're not going to bother with Zakol, I don't think. It's basically sort of a worse Hagen. Holmanite, copper, beryl. I was actually hoping to see a stone planet. But I guess we'll just have to get it from everywhere. I sense a disturbance in the factory I have not felt since yesterday. What disturbance? Westiax, BG Nymond, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's with the capsule chest? A buffer or a cheap 3x3 chest? Yes. Uh, it is a 3x3 chest. I think it's the only 3x3 chest we have. Uh, and it, it, it fits between two bulk rail loaders or unloaders. So this right here, since it's only one resource, this is an excellent example. Uh, instead of all of this, we can simply have a buffer chest. And as long as it's only one resource... Hmm, that's going to take a little bit longer to drain than I thought it would. Could we maybe put this back? I guess I'll give it a hand. Instead of having, like, two or three unloaders going into the chest, uh, we can simply have a 3x3 three three chest between these two bulk rail unloaders, and it'll automatically load them up relatively quickly. Um, and the speed that it does this scales with our stack inserter bonuses as well. Um... 72, that's less than two red belt, uh, less than three red belts. Is that as far as it reaches? It's not. Fantastic. So if we're just doing one resource, uh, we're not doing a complicated station. This is all we need. Look how much neater that is, though. Assuming the uh, bulk rail unloader will keep up. Well, it's the bulk rail unloader that was that we have to worry about, right? I don't think it'll go faster if we have more of these. No, it looks like if we had two chests like that, it would go faster. Hmm. So we could have uh, two delivery cannon chests and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen output belts uh, from the chests, which are balanced from the bulk rail unloaders. Left side not working. Is it too far? It's one tile too far. How dare you. 
Actually, I think this would look a bit less tacky. Left doesn't reach, yes. Okay. That's all working. Fantastic. Now then. Uh, let's get to crafting. I definitely want... Hmm. I need green circuits. Well, first of all, let's get belts going. We want yellow belt. Red belt. Actually, let's just do all the yellows together first. Since there's four of them... Actually, just like one stack of each should be fine. Uh, is it going to overcraft? Possibly. And red belt. Whoops. Actually, I want to put red belt here. And splitters. Uh, say 200. Now then, what are we missing? Iron beam and transport belt. It is actually prioritizing the loaders. Uh, that hurts. Okay. We could either do Decider Combinator if Yellow Belt greater than X, then Loader Recipe. Or I think I'll do... I think I'll try doing the system where we have, like, a big list of prerequisites and a big list of things that need prerequisites, and we just make sure we get all of the prerequisites first. Nice. Factorio on a Monday. Fantastic. Kevin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Could you please say which mod allows you to copy-paste trees? Unfortunately, I don't see it in the list of mods. Oh, okay. Uh... Hmm. How do I... If I point at a tree, it does not tell me. Uh, I have to blueprint something other than the tree. Uh, it's literally called something like copy-paste trees. Let's start from the top. Space exploration, tree x-ray. Uh... Blueprint trees. There it is. Blueprint trees. That's it. Doing well despite a visit at the dentist this morning. Nice work, but still lurking the t hex stream. Uh, glad your dentist visit went okay. We need single cylinders. Single cylinder. Uh, and it's 4,000, right? For one train load. Stack size 50. 4,000. Uh, we can go a little bit higher. 1.5 trains. They always seem to find something, don't they? Oh no. Let's not think about perverse incentives with dentistry involved. Uh, okay, so... In order to check... I already did this, actually. Let's let's not reinvent the wheel. I've got it in here somewhere. Prerequisite checker. So we're reading from this. Uh, each greater than zero output, each input count. Uh, negative numbers for things that require prerequisites. 
everything greater than zero output P. If P is greater than zero output... So gun turrets are a prereq for mechanical facility. Oh, hello, bots. Gun turrets are a prerequisite for mechanical facilities. Negative 50 gun turrets. So we have to have 50 gun turrets before it registers that we have any gun turrets. If everything greater than zero, output P. P means we do have prerequisites. If P is greater than zero, output everything, input count. This is our list of stuff that needs prereqs. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think that'll be fine. So... Let's see... Exactly how I want to fit this together. Oh, and our list of prerequisites goes here. And it's going to end up being a somewhat long list, I think. Um, I just want to lay this out in a way that's really intuitive for later on. And then we're just adding this to... To our list of stuff that we're crafting. So anything that doesn't have a prerequisite that we have to worry about we'll put here. And anything that does has to be here. Okay. What's this? Each greater than zero. So this is what we have have already. Right. That was just linked directly to the RoboPort. Make that a red, just so it's a bit more readable. And we'll have... Thing on left requires thing on right. Actually, I feel like doing red wire for this. Green wire for this. So it's going to be like... If we've got all of these, we're green, we're good to go. And don't do these things unless we have the prerequisites. Nice flooring, by the way. Is that K2? It's just stone. I think vanilla does this. Alright, so substation... Oh, we're running really low. Actually, we probably have plenty of... We have 5.6k advanced circuits, there's no stress there. Right then, so... Uh... Undergrounds? Uh, loaders, rather? We want 50 of each. Uh, I won't put this here yet because we can't make it. And our loaders require... Belt. And belt. Except we need to enter that as a negative. So this is... The only problem with this system where we don't need, like, one or more decider combinators for each prerequisite rule is we're going to have to get every single prerequisite for all things crafted before we craft anything that requires prerequisites. Um, but of course, that's going to be a lot easier to deal with overall. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to make fast loaders. Let's see, we've got the prereqs, so each greater than zero, output each. Oh, we don't actually need that. 
because it's not we're not dealing with the roboport. It's never going to feed us a negative. So we can just do that this way. That's going to have to be a red wire, actually, so this doesn't cross talk. Does it matter if it cross talks? I think it does. Let's swap those. Okay. So prerequisites are met. Therefore, we're outputting. Okay, we are trying to make. Oh, 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 I have to tell this thing to ignore P. Which means just putting a negative one P somewhere. Or even negative anything P. As long as this doesn't receive a P value greater than zero, um, we won't end up trying to craft a P. All right, so we need iron beams in order to make these as well. Iron beam. We could make iron beams here. I never got around to deciding whether they would go in the rail network. They probably will. Iron beam goes into gun turret, biolab, crusher, greenhouse, loader, shelter, wind turbine, electric pole, portable generator, refined concrete. Hmm. Small portable generator storage tank underneath the... Okay, how about refined concrete? I think it's just concrete that'll be used in mass-producing things. Black reinforced plate. Light reinforced plate. Space elevator. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do refined concrete in the rail network, and it looks like the answer is no. What about light reinforced plate? It's just a floor, I think. Okay. Walk speed 175%. Alright, I think we could just make iron beams at the auto crafter instead of doing a rail block for it. Um, and maybe we'll make them on the spot. How fast do we make iron beams? Uh, in other builds, that is. Beam. One machine gives us... It's actually quite slow. We'll see. When I come to the point where I'm doing a rail block that requires iron beams... We'll see how much space it needs, what the ratio is like, uh, and then we'll decide. Um, but for now, I'll definitely add iron beam. Where is iron beam? Here we go. Now then, if we don't have a hundred iron beams, don't try to make Anything that needs prerequisites. And it looks like we're not going to bother making iron beams until we have 840 more red belt. Which is fine. I could always make it so that um, well, no, I hadn't thought about layers of prerequisites. I guess we could, but I don't. I don't want to go that complicated. If we're if we're doing this system, it's because I want to minimize the combinators and stuff. Is any way to unite prerequisites and craft request? In this case, you only put all. 
staff in one combinator. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Uber Skiff, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we have. I, I, I'll just reduce the request for Red Belt until we have finished testing this. Let's just make, like, one stack of each. What are we short on? Iron beam. Oh, so undergrounds. Uh, underground underneath E needs to be on the list of things that requires prerequisites. Iron beam. Oh, which means I have to remove it from here. And that goes for... Uh, that means we have to move underneath the fast version down here as well. So everything that is ultimately dependent on a prerequisite has to go down here. This is the kind of thing where it would definitely be easier to do iron beams elsewhere. Uh, also, considering the volume, that would probably help. We need inserters. Well, you have to add underground yellow to the prereq combinator, yeah. Well, uh, that's a good point. We can't. It won't work that way. So the underneath the yellow belt is dependent on this prerequisite and then is a prerequisite for this one. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so... Beam. Less than 100. And I think we'll just not do beams with the autocrafter. It's generally better not to do things like gears single cylinder, etc. with the auto crafter, if only because of volume, never mind the complexity. Um, so we'll get rid of that, which means that underneath these should be able to just be part of the regular list. So, what's the problem right now? Oh, it's beams. You know what? I might end up just making a block for beams. It'll be simpler that way. Or I could squeeze one in over here. It doesn't have to be that powerful, probably. light. Let's get some stone. And I don't want to mess this up, so put all of my stuff in here. Give me back the bots. And the fuel. That's pretty much it. Go get some stone. Speaking of making it easy to look at, let's cover this area, shall we? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that's the wrong place. If we weren't going to have to make another trip before, we probably will now. Yep. Will it go in signal order, so it will always attempt yellows first if you have them in order? Uh, yeah, I think... I don't know if I've seen exceptions to this, but if you look at... Um, generally... Like, steel chest will come before passive provider chest, will come before storage chest, and so on. Um, I think it maybe goes by the item IDs. Uh, and I think you can almost always count on that appearing in order of left to right, top to bottom, and left tab to right tab. Uh, but there could be an exception or two to this. Yamu C, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Get rid of the rest of this stone. Oh. Yeah, no, that's right. Give me back my stuff. And let's make an irons, uh, iron beam build. You know what? Let's do it properly. Um, I'll just blueprint that. Chuck it into... Oh, I forgot. Chuck it in here so we can use it in here. And delete. Okay, so we're requesting iron plate. Oops, a couple of train loads. F for the bots? Oh no. Oh, they've joined the Shadow Realm. Rip bots. At least it was only six or seven of them. I hope. I gotta be careful too, because I can't reproduce bots here yet. You can request stuff without prerequisites in one combinator. Positive signal send to Crafting Combinator, negative two prerequisites checker. Uh, yeah, I think that is what we're doing, question mark. Didn't even think about what the bots are carrying being lost as well, yeah. Imagine losing a cargo rocket silo or something to that. It's easy to get them back if you enable sync, then mine them, then disable sync. Fair enough, that might be something we do. You do wipe your editor inventory, but that's easy to get back, of course. Um, alright then, so we want probably the usual layout. That fits under a beacon. Why do I always do that? About here somewhere. And iron beam. I really don't think we're going to have that much need for iron beam in the rail network. So I'll just do this kind of quickly. We can always just remove some if a beacon makes it like too fast for belts. Just want this working right now. I'll use blue belt. Uh, it's one solid in, one solid out. So we could definitely use 
delivery cannon chests. And what's our current rate? Yeah, I know the beacon will be upset. It's less than one belt for the whole thing. 18 per second. That's not as fast as I thought it would be, actually. Can we squeeze in more? If that's an output... I mean, yes, but... I'm just not going to worry about it that much. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that lines up pretty well, actually. Wait, I don't think we need that much input, do we? Uh, only 18 per second. So we could use a long arm. Fast inserters, long arm inserters. And output goes here. Whoops. Underground belt. Like so. I guess if I... No, this is fine. Alright. Down we go. Up we go. Some undergrounds. And power. Um, I think in the middle of the output is probably where we want our substations. requesting the iron plate. Damn it. Can I cut this and paste? I can, actually. And then... Train stop goes... Should line up with this one. Goes here? No, it does not. Wait, that's a bit weird. Did I put something in the wrong place? I bet I did. Uh, I bet I put something slightly off. No? That actually does line up properly. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the output from the single cylinder engines isn't centered. Okay. In that case... Uh, please put one of these here. And this can go here. And this goes here. Whoops. And I think that'll look a bit better. What's an underground? I only see underneath these, indeed. 
All right. Uh, it's kind of bugging me, but it's going to be a lot of unnecessary work to move this two tiles over. So I, I guess I'll leave it be. Now then, copy paste and away to go the bots. Fewer than last time. I think I will try rescuing them. Let's save first in case something goes amiss. Pick up station. Uh, and we're looking for beams. Iron beam provider. And that's all. Oh, and we need some power here as well. I still haven't decided where I want the substations, actually. I think this gives us a good hint. Need to put in some undergrounds, of course. Why is it crisscrossy? Why are you like this? There we go. And I think this would look a bit neater over here. And this one over here. Alright, how many... That's probably enough subs... To... No, I need six, seven, eight. I'm one off. What do we need? Red circuits? It's actually just copper cable. Grab some of that. In current scheme, you use two combinator, one to set request for crafting, second for prerequisite checker. I suggest uniting them. So in this case, you need to set a signal only in one place. What we have is, we're reading from what we've got, uh, subtracting that from what we want to craft, and then we also need to subtract prerequisites from what we have in order to check if we have a certain amount of our prerequisites before deciding, okay, we can now craft the prerequisites. One to set requests for craft. That's anything that gets here that's positive is set to be crafted and that gets passed through here. And we need this to check for the prerequisites. Set signal only one place if it's possible to do. Yeah, I don't think it is. I've, I've put a lot of thought into prerequisites. Um, it's really pick your poison. Either something like this, which has the downside of all prerequisites must be present before we do anything that requires prerequisites. Or we need a dis at least one decider combinator for each item that has prerequisites, which adds up very quickly. Um, we're going to need some blue inserters. How many inserters do I have left? Oh, yikes. Okay. We need to get inserters going in the auto crafter, but it's a bit of a tall order right now. Maybe this auto crafter can handle them. We've still got a bunch of automation cores. Let's see what we get if we just try this. Alright. Uh, we need 
inserter parts. I don't think we have those. Can we make inserter parts? Who knows? Why are we making cogs? Well, it won't take long. Inserter parts. Uh, iron stick and iron gear. Alright. Can we at least get some throughput before we go? Oh, we're still handcrafting for these substations. Even though we've got power already. I need to pick up some blue unloaders as well. Actually, that was probably super unnecessary. I'll just do this for now. We also need to request our iron. We are requesting iron. What's going on? Iron plate is actually empty. Uh, because iron isn't keeping up. But we've got iron here. Also, what scheme was I going with? Encoded network ID 1 for stuff that we don't want to void? Let's get in the habit of doing that. So we've definitely got the iron, we've got the provide stack threshold. And this is connected correctly. So why are we not delivering iron here? Oh, right. Probably because we haven't set up the station. It's also requesting copper, which we don't have. Alright, iron ore. 50k. Iron ore requester. And go. Missing underground at substation. Oh, true. Okay, also we need to finish this uh, rail. Oh, and let me do a saves real quick, and we'll see if we can get those bots back. So where are they? I don't... Oh, there they are. So the setting was... Uh, sync inventory curse, inventory and cursor between play modes. Your inventory and cursor stack will be synced between the editor and normal play. So, just to be safe, well, I guess I did just save, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll go to the main game, turn that setting on. Um, where is it? Oh, per player. Go to the editor. I seem to have my editor stuff. Go to here. And I brought back editor things. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do it the other way around. Oh. Oh, I think that's all of my stuff. <laughs> From the game. Okay, alright. 
Let's load the game. And we'll try that with what my first instinct was, but I didn't do it yet. Uh, I'm going to empty my inventory in the editor. Oh, it included these settings. That's good. Okay, so we'll leave that switched off. Uh, go to the editor. Empty our inventory completely. Go back to the main game. Uh, turn this setting on. Go to editor. We still have our stuff. Come back. We still have our stuff. All right. Rescue our bots from the Shadow Realm. Uh, preferably without stealing stuff that we're not supposed to have. And I believe there's some bots over this way. Or not. Um, we've definitely lost more bots than this. I think a bunch of them have been deleted. But I should now be able to go back and then we'll turn that setting on again. Or rather, switch it off. And if we go to the editor... Alright, cool. Rescue operation complete. Terranet. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, let's go get some inserters. Actually, I think we need to babysit this crafter for a sec. Did we get our parts? We did. So now we try making some inserters. Uh, is it only the first level of inserter that needs the parts? It actually is not, but I'm more... It's only stack inserters and burner inserters. Uh, that requires the inserter parts. I'm only worried about getting some fast inserters for the moment. So that should be fine. We're swapping recipes a little bit too quick here. Uh, crafting combinator. I think I set this to 30 seconds. And the only reason I changed it back was to make it a bit clearer what was happening as I was explaining how this works. Okay. Why is... Oh, it's not. It's not over full. Okay. The, the bulk rail unloaders unload so quickly that I just sort of assumed that a train was stuck if I catch it sitting still here. Um, let's get some rail, at least. Where's the rail coming from? Up here? On the topic of prerequisites, does it take preference based on the order of items? And can you just put things in order and hope it works? Uh, for the most part, the ordering works out okay. Asterisk. So, I don't know how many exceptions there are to this, but... Uh, it seems to be in the order of... I think if we put debug on, we can see... Uh, item ID. And I th think... I think the crafting combinator prefers things that are at a lower item ID. Um, and it works the same way with the anything signal. And I think these are all sorted by... Lowest item ID first, 
and left to right, top to bottom, left tab to right tab. I think there's an exception or two in there somewhere. I could be wrong. Um, however, considering that manufacturing or intermediate products is like two or three tabs over, you generally don't want to be making these sorts of prerequisites with the auto crafter and just hoping for the best. But when it comes to things like in space exploration, you've got these tiers of, uh, well, you've got assembly machines, you've got furnaces, uh, drills, where you need the previous tier to make the next tier. Um, those tend to just work themselves out so that you don't have to do anything special um, for the crafting order. That is not a whole lot of... Alright, do we have any inserters yet? Fast inserters? That would be zero. Why don't I just put stack inserters here no. and... I'll replace them with an upgrade planner later. Or rather, I'll put an upgrade planner on them right now. To put them down from stacks to fast. So that when we have them, we'll put those back. Actually, how many stacks do I have? 26 on me. Let's do it here as well. Okay. And this side. All the contiguous blocks seem like they would work out. Yeah, uh, they generally do. Order by item ID, that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's the case. It could just be that some manufacturing items are prerequisites. Uh, are the only things I've run into for prereqs, but I can't really remember everything. Why don't I go and place another rail block while I've got this much rail on me anyway? Hmm. I kind of want to get this cryonite mine out of the way, but at the same time, uh, I think our cryonite requirements are going to be extremely low for a long time. It's only when we start using cryonite for uh, coolant that the rate of consumption of it increases beyond what a core mining drill can easily provide. Wow, that did not take long to place. Okay. So, iron beams are coming in rather slowly. In fact, they're coming in so slowly, for the moment I might just grab some. No, I want to make sure that we've got the setting correct with LTN. So... It would help if I included the setting to start with. Just have to lower the provide threshold, and we should get a train picking this up. second now. Let's see. Iron beam. Stack size 100. Uh, is 120 stacks. Iron beam. Iron beam. Wiring is correct. We know the wiring is correct at the other end, because we did it before. Provide stack threshold 1. A train should be coming to pick this up already. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can I upgrade plan a stack filter down to a fast inserter? Probably. Yeah, there we go. Let's just do this as well. So upgrade planner. Oh, is the output? Oh, I forgot to set these to blacklist. Blacklist nothing. All right, that'll be a little bit faster. But still, I don't know if the volume is the reason why LTN isn't picking this up. It's very strange. Oh, we do have... No? We have a hundred. Uh, as opposed to twelve thousand. Oh, and it's not even... Oh, it is reading from here. Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay. Maybe LTN wanted to see a certain amount here? Maybe it looks at the delta over time. What's the D? Default request item threshold. I've set it in the mods. Uh, it, default with if you don't touch the mod settings is actually only a thousand. Um, but I've set it to a number so high that we will never reach it. Um, just so that I have to put something in manually to make that work. For various reasons. Alright, so that is our beans. Uh, we need electronic circuits now. I think we've done electronic circuits. Actually, no. That's kind of surprising. We still haven't done electronic circuits in the rail network. Um, considering how rare stone is on Hagen, I'm seriously considering wood. But how much... How much would we need? No pun intended. Uh, to support a block of green circuits. Uh, let's grab this blueprint actually. And I can probably steal from myself uh, for at least one of these. Green circuits tend to be pretty belt heavy, right? Either way, we need two inputs. Uh, we're probably going to do the couple, copper cable on the spot. So it's going to be copper and wood, or copper and stone. I know it's not that much stone, like half a stone that goes into an electronic circuit. That's without prods. And it would be two layers of productivity bonus eventually. But for the moment at least, stone is weirdly a little bit precious. Uh, three wood per electronic circuit. Hmm. I think we're going to need an awful lot. Where's our old spaghetti? Three wood. We would need 18 of these to support one electronic circuit per second. That's... that's a problem. 
Where's the nearest stone mine of any decent size? I guess I could use this one. It's only 242k. That's like 500,000 circuits. We knew Hagen would have its challenges. Speaking of which, uh, how's our coal mining? Uh, we have a bit of copper, a bit of iron, not that much stone. Maybe we should be voiding cryonite powder. Uh, we should definitely be voiding cryonite powder. So that we can keep, um core mining going. Okay. I think I'll put our storage block directly below the mall. Actually, that'll just be for raw resources. Even so, it could be convenient. I don't suppose I can fit it around these crude oil pipes? Uh, very nearly. We just have to move them, what, a couple of tiles down? In fact, does that reach already? Oh, it does. This could be super easy. This is a good opportunity, actually, to update that blueprint, because I made a couple of changes to it. Uh, let's go to the editor. Marked, marked at home. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Emo, good to see you again also. How do you void? We'll get to that in a sec. Why is sulfuric acid part of green circuits? I don't remember that in SpaceX slash K2. Green, sulfuric acid part of green circuits. Uh, I don't think it is. It's part of blue circuits. What? Where did we get that idea? Is there an alternate recipe for it? I think it conflicts with undergrounds. One to the left of current one? Oh, the uh, pipes. Can you send that cryo and vulcanite produce? Have you turned all trains on? I think I have. Actually, that's a good question. Do electro electric components use sulfuric acid? Uh, electronic components. I don't believe so. No, they don't. Okay. Um, so, we'll remove this. And this. And paste this here. Actually, paste isn't going to work, is it? Oh, it does. It's just undo. and It's, uh, undo... and select new contents of an existing blueprint that doesn't work with the uh, LTN stuff. Not LTN, uh, bulk rail unloader mod. Because it doesn't remember the orientation. Trees, you are distracting. Okay. I guess we could still do the same thing with uranium for the moment, at least. It'll definitely be easier in the short term.
Oh, but I, what I wanted to do was update this blueprint with the generic version. Uh, that's going to take more work than I thought. Let's just do this for now. Okay, so we'll put our storage here. And if the storage ever... Uh, it, it also means we're going to have our landfill nice and close to... Um, the mall. But if this ever gets completely full for any given resource, uh, it'll turn things into landfill. If landfill ever gets completely full, it will throw the landfill into the crusher. That's how we can avoid things. Ironically, when I make uh, concrete, I think we're actually going to be net getting stone back by replacing the stone that we've put on the ground. Let's see. Probably not, actually. 10 sand makes 10 concrete. Actually, yes. Because stone makes how much sand? It's more than one. 7.5 sand from 3 stone. So it's more than 2 to 1. We get more than double the stone back. Uh, I think. 1 sand per concrete. Yeah. Uh, we actually... Since stone is so precious on this planet, it's sort of going to be easier to pave the whole thing with concrete than with stone. We're going to need a whole lot of stuff to finish this block. Uh, and I want to add cryonite to the things that we're going to store and void. Because core mining is not happening because we're full on cryonite. Therefore, we're not getting, most importantly at the moment, stone. But we're not getting uranium, coal. Coal is important as well. Uranium, coal, stone, iron, copper, pyroflux, crude, water. Well, we're not worried about water. That's why we have a flare stack there. Alright, let's double check if we have indeed turned all the trains on. We have not. That would probably help. Now that they all have fuel. Fantastic. And uh, good to see you again, Buvim. Meloxel, good to see you again also. Did I say that before? Possibly. Probably. It's fine. Hey, hey, Leech Leech. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Turned the fluid trains off. Uh, you're joking. Okay, okay, okay. Automatic. There we go. Yeah, the fluid trains just didn't have that much to do. Alright then. Give me some more rail. At least with core mining, we know that, worst case, things are just going to go a bit slower. It makes me far more relaxed. Uh, Alright, we need a bunch of... Let's just say everything. I'll go back to the, the first mall. Pick up things, come back, and then see what's missing. Oh, and we should check on Nalvis. Um, I'll just double check that our timed usage of the cannons has been working well. You can see the spikes 
when the cannons have fired and then uh, the solar panels have to work harder again. And then so occasionally we do it at night, but it's not enough to... I wish there was a setting between 10 minutes and 1 hour. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's fine. It's not enough to cause the power system to crash at night. And we should still be gaining steam. Fantastic. Gero the brown one, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Right. Um, how's our volume of ingots and stuff. This is completely saturated copper, not so much. Oh, I think I left it, I think I left iron super prioritized over copper. Yeah, I did. Because we were trying to get steel. And the fluid has to come down here. The molten iron, that is. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Garu the brown one, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome also. Um, I can't think what else to do right now, so we're just going to drop off whatever we can over here, and then we'll see what's missing. We need some recycling facilities. And I'll go ahead and set this to request cryonite. I might do it on this side, actually. Where is the requester? This, this mess of uh, bunched up stations is a bit hard to read, I have to say. Whoops. Uh, powder. Cryonite powder. Stack size 50. So, how much can we fit here? Oh, we want to filter it. Oh. Wait, what? I forgot I set this to be the pickup for processed uranium. So that just leaves the southern one. We've got two more resources that we can store in this block. I need a combinator. Alright, so powder, and let's say six train loads, 50 times 40 times 2 times 6, 24,000, we could actually go like 12, just under 12 train loads, well, we could go 12 train loads of each resource here, each physical resource. So I guess I'll do that, actually. Uh, 50 times... I'll make it 10, because we definitely want some slack. Uh, 50 times 40 times 2. Stack size times cargo wagon stacks times cargo wagons times number... Wait, what? Uh, 40k. And we're gonna make this... How, what was my naming convention for these stations? Oh, I didn't copy-paste. Yes, I did. Uh, green chest. That makes sense. No, wait. That was down here. I think this was just requester. No, it's storage. Alright, so storage chest, uh, and for now we're just asking for cryonite powder. Fantastic. We need some more bulk rail loaders. 
and I think we've run out of express loaders. Um, let's turn the RoboPort off for a sec, because we might want to conserve these. What is this station for? Oh, right, I remember. This is the landfill. Can we turn cryonite powder into landfill? We can't. So we would have to crush it directly? We can do iron, copper, raw imacite, rare metals, raw rare metals, beryl, holmanite, iridite. Why is it... Why is it every exotic resource, every quote-unquote basic exotic resource except for cryonite that we're able to turn into landfill? Rude. Let's check over here that we can at least put it in a crusher. I'm sure we can. Oh, there should be a recipe, actually. Cryonite powder... Uh, goes into the crusher. Maybe... What does it take to make cryonite rods? Do we have those already? Why not? Because we don't have steam. Because we don't have water? Oh no. Oh no, something's wrong. Damsel! <laughs> Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Ragnarok, this vegan, boofy. Welcome, welcome. S.O. Damsel, not Damsel's emote. How did your cursed ship go? Silent Storm, good to see you again. How did we end up with heavy oil on both sides of this? This is supposed to be water? Wait. Are we even supposed to have heavy oil here? Yeah, it's down here. So... They're not connected. What? The pumps misbehaved. Steam stream was wonderful. I feel like I made good progress. Fantastic. So cursed 10 out of 10, indeed. Oh, we don't have a water pickup yet, either. So that's why we don't have cryonite rods. But I was thinking about cryonite rods because... Um, we might want to convert them to something a bit more dense before we void. Even though it's a waste of energy, kind of. Oh, it changed side. That was weird. Uh, rod. Cryonite rod. There it is. And loader. Uh, we found out how to rescue rescue our bots that got banished to the Shadow Realm. But unfortunately, I had removed a bunch of them earlier because they jumped into RoboPods. It's a bit awkward, but it, it just takes like 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, let's get some power. We're basically just turning the share inventory between um, between the main game and the lab setting on briefly. The Shadow Realm always messing things up, indeed. Alright, so we can indeed crush Crynite Powder, but it's rather slow, of course. That's why we turn things into landfill. But for some reason, out of all of the basic exotic resources, uh, Cryonite is the only one that we can't turn into landfill. Is there anything else we can turn Cryonite powder into to get rid of it? It's literally just... It's 
it's literally just cryonite rods. Okay, so what about... How much goes into a cryonite rod? Let's see. Uh, why don't we look at it this way? Cryonite rod. Oh, wait. Cryonite rod? Uh, two cryonite powder, two cryonite crystal, and a cryonite crystal is eight. So it's like ten powder to one rod. Well, that's a pretty big improvement, but it's still rather slow. So we can void like five powder per second. And just from one drill... I think we have two. We haven't put the second one down yet, actually. We're getting 10.7 per second, which is giving us about 10 cryonite per second, which is giving us about 10 powder per second. Okay. So if we're going to void all of that, so that we can get all the other resources, we need to... We need two crushes, or we need to give it some speed modules. Um, how many... Oh, it's got four slots. We can definitely double this. Yeah, speed... Speed twos. We're going to need four speed twos in our crusher, and it's going to have to crush cryonite rods. I hope we haven't already summoned cryonite powder to here. We have not. Fantastic. Okay. So... Guess. We're just going to get rid of this. Oh, it depends which one we're going to use. Um, let's say we put our cryonite rods on this side. Cryonite rod. There isn't something that cryonite rod goes into that would be better way to do this, is there? Um, probably not really. Oh, we need it for efficiency threes. Murphy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Now I think that's... I think that's it. So cryonite rods are going to be stored here. Uh, if they're ever completely full, we're going to crush them. And that's how it's going to be. But first we need to fix our cryonite rod production. That alone is going to give us a bunch of other resources. Is this not switched on? It is not switched on. So just to double check, 39k, uh, fluid system contents 81k, fluid system contents 19k. So these fluid this is two separate fluid systems. And we did set the pumps correctly. Oh, well there's your problem. I don't know how this even managed to work to unload the heavy oil. We're supposed to connect this to the logistic train stop output, not input. I see what happened here. It received the negative signals from our constant combinator. So when a train comes uh, with fluid that it wants to drop off, if it wants to empty, the logistic train stop output will say negative one for that fluid. Okay, um, so all we need to do now is 
Pump that away. What? Different contents? What are you talking about? Oh, I think it's because water could be added to this. Even though there is no water in this uh, fluid system. Left side combinator has cryonite in it still too. Left side combinator, was that for this area? It does too. Uh, the value of one wouldn't have done anything. But yes, good catch, thank you. Okay. Um, fortunately, we don't have to put any other... Well... We do have to put in a little tiny amount of heavy oil. Yeah, we're going to be voiding just a little bit of oil in order to keep our core mining going. Well, we're going to get more crude oil out of it regardless. So I think that's going to be net positive even for cr uh, heavy oil. All right, so how long is it going to take to drain this? A little while. Hmm. I think this would have been better to do anyway. Oh, I can't fit that there. Never mind. How about here? And we probably don't need this already. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much if I waste just a small amount. It's not that small an amount, it's like 4,000 almost. We also, while we're waiting for that, I should set up a water pickup for our slow water consumers. I'll probably want to expand this block out eventually. Well, a water pickup station is an easy thing to move around. Let's just put this here, if it'll fit. I don't know if it will. No, it won't. Where should we put our loaders? I just realized we don't need bulk rail loaders for this, actually. We should be able to fit this here quite comfortably. We're going to put a huge storage tank in between the two fluid wagons and uh, one offshore pump, preferably pointing straight at this, but I don't think that's going to line up. Actually, we can make it line up. Whoa, let's be careful here. Probably didn't need to waste that stone just now. I gotta stop thinking of stone as disposable for a while. Um, which, which means it's gonna be all the better that we're turning other resources into landfill. Although I don't know how quickly that's gonna happen. Um, where's my offshore pump? There it is. And then, like so, substation up here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to reach across here. You know what? Um, I'll do 
this is this is another valid way of doing a train stop. We'll just put a constant combinator here and connect those like so. Uh, and we want provide threshold 50k and I really don't care what length of train comes here. So I don't think we have to put anything in there. I think if you don't include um, minimum and maximum train lengths, it just assumes any train length is okay. Oh, yes indeed it does. Oh no, are you serious? We're one off. Um, you saw nothing, it's fine, don't worry about it. Is that not connecting? I don't think it's going to connect because the train isn't straight. Okay. Where's our landfill? Here it is. Um, you can just go on your merry way. And we'll move all of this up two tiles. Oh no, one off, right? And like so. And then... That landfill that I put here went to waste. Whatever. It doesn't have to be that fast. Probably. You know what? We can do it neater. Make it fast anyway. I don't think I can handcraft another one though. Right this second. There's copper over here. enough. That just barely has power. Where are you trying to go? Oh, 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 oh. I haven't fixed this yet. Oh, that was too fast. Um, too far. Let's go back this way. First of all, So we're currently trying to put water in here. Uh, how about you go manual? Come back to here. Block the roundabout, it's totally fine. And I think, yeah, we've gotten rid of as much heavy oil here as we can. Alright, and then drop off water. Fantastic. This one looks like it's configured correctly. Now that I've done the wiring properly, switch that on. And we'll get our cryonite powder delivered to this side as well. I think I did this as a one-to-one -one ratio, so we're going to see this belt looking not saturated uh, until this backs up down here. Uh, but yeah, that's actually our first cryonite. Now then, I need some more loaders and stuff. Two bulk rail loaders in particular is what I'm looking for. And this should be called Rhinite Storage. Rhinite Rod that is.
Is it switched on? It is now. Just put these here to make sure they've got the right filter. have no filter. I should really have this set to fish by default so that it won't output whatever we're dropping off here. I'm glad I checked that. All right, let's drop off whatever we can while we're here. Turns out it's some constant combinators. We need more recycling facilities. We won't be needing this one though. We're just going to put the cryonite rods directly into the crusher if this is ever completely full. Um, I don't really have room to do that as is. I'll think about how I want to do that, just to make it look good. Let's go get some more stuff. And what else? Are we out of rail? Oh, I didn't... I didn't re-enable making rail. We have no small electric motors. That is concerning. Let's turn off the combinators for now. Turn this back on. I think I must have it set so that the crafting combinator is less responsive than the recipe combinator. There it is. How do we make small electrics? It's copper as well as iron, right? Oh, we can make those here. That's fine. Small electric. We've already got... wait. Yeah, no, we have wire in the system already. Um, so let's turn that off. I just want to make sure we can make our small electric motors. And I guess we don't have any rail here right now. Oh, we do. I'm just not requesting that much. I don't actually need that much right now, now that I look at it. Uh, what I did need was loaders. How much ammo do we have left? Uh, 114. That is quite cozy, actually. Why is the crafting combinator still not updating? I set it to 30 seconds. It's not busted, is it? Maybe I did not set it to 30 seconds. 18,000 ticks. Uh, 1,800 is what it should be. <laughs> okay, so that was like five minutes or something? should be working within 30 seconds. Let's go build what we can. Good to see the cryonite in motion. Why is this one... Oh, that's probably why. This one didn't have any requests. Should get its request in a few seconds. Let's go sit over here and build. Oh, 
we check if those are working? Uh, indeed they are. I don't remember requesting steel pipe. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Okay. Can I make some substations? Kinda. What else am I missing here? Blue undergrounds. Uh, blue loaders, rather. I'll just stand here to make sure we prioritize. Why are we only delivering to this side? I think I need more trains already, actually. Yeah, I didn't realize how... how many requests that's creating. The doggo is happy and I am back. Fantastic. What are we working on today? Well, broadly, today I want to expand out our base on Hagen, which is eventually going to become our main base. Uh, at the moment, I am trying to get our storage and voiding area done so that we can keep we can keep doing core mining, which is going to be actually a pretty major source of stone uh, because... I did notice that we didn't have a whole lot of coal on Hagen, uh, and prioritized somewhat sending coal over here, but what I didn't realize is how short we are on stone. We do have stone brick and concrete in the rail network. I actually forgot how much concrete we've got. I would probably be better off paving with concrete already. Um, I was using stone because it's cheap and easy, but uh, as it turns out on Hagen, stone is relatively precious. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the coal fragment mining and processing has been backed up for quite a while because we've been completely saturated on cryonite powder. Uh, so... Basically, I'm going to be storing cryonite rods here, and if it gets completely full, we're going to throw it into the crusher, um, and that's just barely going to be able to keep up with one core mining drill uh, to keep it going. I guess I could always belt it so that so that we put things into multiple crushes. It's not like we're ever going to be voiding like all of these resources at the same time. Was muted. Yeah, we do get sand from uh, processing cryonite. We also get stone. Where is the stone coming from? Uh, we get stone from the core fragments and sand from the cryonite uh, itself. Muted indeed. Uh, so the more core mining we can do, the better. Uh, and it's shockingly easy, at least for now, to back up on cryonite, so we're going to need to store it and potentially crush some of it. Uh, coal as well, we really want from coal mining, although it's not going to be that much. We get a very small amount of vanilla core fragments. 3.2 per second, that's if we had 32. We're going to get like one core fragment per second. So... A 
about less than one stone per second. Not counting the sand and stone from over here. We're actually getting way more stone from processing the uh, Crynite core fragments themselves. Okay, we definitely want to scale that up then. How much of this did I get built? Quite a bit, actually. Is that a tree? Get out of here, tree. Alright, so cryonite rods, I haven't actually requested yet. Uh, we can fit 10 train loads, which is 16k times 10. I think we can do the times 10 math in our heads on a base 10 system. And if and only if this is completely full of cryonite, uh, so th 320 plus two zeros, cryonite rod equals 32k, uh, if and only if that condition is met, we want to void cryonite by putting it into the crusher. And I'll put it, I'll put it to separate crushes, um, so we can keep up. Uh, I still need more of these. Steel gear. How much? How's our auto crafter over here going? Um, it's. Oh right, we need red circuits. I forgot. I'm least concerned about splitters out of all of these, so let's just crank up our requests um, for red belt. And I could maybe put something here for steel gear wheels. Can I at least make some crushes while I'm here? Not even. I need copper, wire, and automation core. What's this doing? Oh. Oh, this... This fluid wagon just unloads that much slower because of the pipe segments. That's fine. There shouldn't be too much throughput. Uh, in general, going to the storage areas. Although, it looks like that's not the case right now. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, anything finite like this, we want to set to encoded network ID 1. And down here, the drop-off is set to encoded network ID 2. So that those two won't interact with each other with a schedule. Only infinite resources go into these storage blocks. Because we will eventually void them. So that won't actually cause a problem here. Uh, it has to be completely full before it'll... Or, or very nearly full before it chucks anything into the flare stack. Americans can't do times 10? Ouch. Harsh. Is it possible to have a rocket target multiple planets? Uh, yes. Just point... Uh, there's a setting on the cargo rocket that's like... Uh, destination position, Hagen landing pad... Uh, oh, here it is. Any landing pad with name, instead of sending it to Hagen. So you just have the same uh, cargo landing pad name. Cool, indeed. It's quite good. 
I don't love cargo rockets in general, just because of how much clutter you have to deal with. But other than that, they work very well. Oh, and the fact that they crash all the time. That, uh, that doesn't help. What was I coming back here for? I need more blue express loaders. Give me the steel. We've still got quite a lot of fast belt, right? I mean, express. 4.5k, 237. Yeah, it's only the loaders that we're having to craft now. How do I prevent when Nalvis provides glass, it shoots glass to itself? Uh, it depends. I can't really picture your whole logistics system. That's where it starts to get interesting, indeed. Alright, let's head back this way. Also, if I haven't already, the drop-off here should have a negative priority. I think I just set it to negative one. Encoded network ID 2, provide uh, request priority negative 1. That's what we want for our storage areas. So it's the last place that will take something. And we'll only take it here if it comes from an infinite source. Otherwise it's just going to sit in the ground until we're ready to take it somewhere. It's much more storage dense that way. How many mines do we have? We've got crude oil, uh, which I don't think actually has a pickup. We just pumped it up here directly because we didn't have a train system at the time. Uh, we've got iron, which I have already set as encoded network ID 1. We've got uh, mineral water, which I forgot, but I fixed. And I believe that is basically it. Um, I'm definitely not going to request anything. Coal, you say? Why is there so little coal here? Oh, it's in the chest, not the... Yeah, okay. Uh, coal is a basic enough resource that we'll end up, theoretically, we'll end up voiding it if, if our storage is full, but I don't think that's going to happen. Our storage is full for what we're receiving from Nalvis, but that's going to change eventually. I don't know, I think I will still set this so that it is encoded network ID 1, because we definitely don't want to throw any of this... Well, yeah, I I'm never going to set it so that we're storing and voiding iron ingots, but just in case I forget something, like coal... Um, and make a storage system to void it if we get overfilled. I don't want this the coal from Nalvis to be voided. Okay. Bryanite rods looking good. Even though it's negative priority, we should get um, a delivery as soon as we reach what is it, 8k? in one of the train stops and that should take about uh 35 40 minutes from when this thing started going full speed oh can we make some crushes we can and i might just move this Wait, no, we need two tiles up here. 
Um, how about... How about a long arm? Okay. Now that I think of it, uh, I guess technically we only need one belt coming out of the storages, um, out of the bulk rail loaders to take something to the voiding system. Mm, the recycler is a lot faster at getting rid of... Oh, the recycler can do 50 per second. Yeah, never mind. That can stay. Let's turn off the RoboPod. I want to move these over to where we've already got stuff. And we don't need one here. Alright. So in the unlikely event, or rather the event that will take a long time to get to, that we're totally full on cryonite rods, um, in the storage, we'll start throwing it away. How are you generating power on Hagen? Uh, most of it, for now, is biomethanol. So we take water, we turn it into wood, uh, we turn the water into steam as well, we add oxygen, and that gives us a fluid that we can burn as fuel. And that gives us 4.5 megawatt out of a gas power station. And an awful lot of pollution, no doubt. Uh, quite a lot less pollution with our efficiency modules, but more importantly, as far as we're concerned on this planet, uh, instead of consuming just over one megawatt of power, uh, we go down to 200 kilowatts for each of the fuel refineries. And that all that takes is a pair of Efficiency 1 modules, which is a bargain, I would say. I mean... What is it? Uh, 400... 400 kilowatts of electricity generation for the cost of one Efficiency module? And that's discounting the pollution change? That is absolutely a bargain. But yeah, these two are an exact ratio for producing and consuming biomethanol. Uh, the smallest ratio I could get that was good is... Uh, what is it? 21? Uh, 21 greenhouses to 14 fuel refineries. Uh, we are just barely positive on oxygen. If we had one more fuel refinery, I think, uh, it'd be zero ratio for oxygen, but we'd have to add two more greenhouses. Uh, and as for steam, what temperature? 165? No, it can be 100. Uh, 100 degree steam. Just one electric boiler gives us... 105 out of 84 steam. I did think about using the excess steam as a power source, but that actually doesn't make any sense. It, it's just a... It, it just wastes power. It's like trying to make a perpetual motion machine. We do have nuclear power set up, um, but I just haven't switched it on yet because we don't have that much... Uh, fuel. But that'll change as we ramp up our core mining. Well, not to mention that there's also uranium itself available. We could probably hurry up and do that. But I actually haven't thought about power for a while, so it's still doing quite well. And I'm just going to add storage icon here. Fantastic. 
I don't like the little six though. Like normally I do, but for the purpose of this icon, um, I don't love that. Add tag. Storage chest. Oh, it's got a little one next to it regardless. Okay, fine. I'll have the warehouse. The 100C steam bothers me. It wouldn't be steam for long. On the other hand, Factorio takes bigger liberties than that. Yeah, like uh, having perfect insulation on everything that contains heat. So it never, ever, ever leaks away. Um, what should we do next? I'm actually a bit stumped on that. Uh, now that we've... Now that we're not backed up up here, let's get another core mine going. We should have removed that little bit of iron over here. That was in our way. It wasn't really in our way, but I didn't like the idea of leaving it to rot. There's still like seven iron here or something. I can't even tell. No. Uh, it's going to drive me crazy knowing that there's like one tile of iron down here that we're never going to reach. Is it time for green circuits? Definitely. I think it's time for a bit of a break because uh, I'm kind of blanking on a couple of things and not thinking that clearly. So let's get... I actually haven't checked on the biters in forever. We lost logistic bots. That's just attrition, I think. When was the last time... Oh, it's been more than 10 hours since the biters broke something. I don't think we've even been attacked. I could be wrong about that. Uh, for a while. When was the last time? Meteorite. Uh, we killed one biter 2.5 hours ago. I think we'll be okay to just let this run for a bit. Do the biters even really exist now? Considering how far I pushed them out when we were running rampant, uh, and then I had to switch rampant off, they practically don't exist at this point. Alright, let's do some words on stream. Uh, apparently I left the autopilot on here. Whoops. We'll start that in about... Oh, sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. For example... Oh yeah, I already answered that. Uh, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
That's a lot of words for not very many letters. Nicely done. See if we can get one more. Alright, what, what are we going to do next? We need green circuits. Fantastic, good job. So next time... Next time we're doing level 9. Pause that for now. And... Um, I haven't actually done a green circuit block. How much? Oh, I haven't turned the screensaver off. There we go. Uh, how much red belt do we have? Much more. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Um, I could bring lubricant here. Lubricant is, like, by far the most common thing that we find that we want... For our auto crafter. I don't actually have. I don't actually have anything. For, oh, yes, I do. Lubricant. 200k. Beautiful. Let's do that. Um, we also need steel ears, I think. Oh, we're going to need green circuits and probably red circuits. Electronic components. So steel gear wheel is obviously going to be pretty simple. I'll just put that here. Oh good, I don't have inserters even. Steel plate. Gimme gimme. Steel gear wheel. Settings are going to be pretty much the same. as this. And what about parts? Wait, it wasn't in set of parts, it was um, electronic components. I don't think we can make those here. Electronic components. We need plastic, glass, and silicon. How many things do electronic components go into? Does it make any sense putting them in the rail system? Advanced furnace. Let's see. Red circuits, so that's a yes. Okay, that makes it easy. Why don't we build our way to red circuits already? Probably because we haven't got a proper copper mine connected to the rail network. Uh, there's actually one right here. In fact, it's the same one we've been using. WestDX, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's that mispronunciation? Uh, let's just put this here for now. And Jess Jack, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Mm, I think I would like to put it closer to the actual mine. We're not going to use this area for a block for a little while. Uh, I don't particularly want to get rid of this either. So, let's see. Vines. Let's hurry up with my least favorite part of Factorio. It's just not very interesting making mines, in my opinion. Are the core mining and storage outputs set to a higher priority than mined? 
so with any finite resource that we mine, we set the encoded network ID to 1. And with the storage areas, uh, we set the encoded network ID to 2. Uh, we also set it as a lower than normal priority. So this is the last place that any of these resources will be delivered to, and we only deliver them here from an infinite source. Um, and we're not going to have to put encoded network ID 1 on everything, because we're simply not going to request anything here that can come from... Uh, that can only come from a finite source, or like... We're not going to request iron gear wheels to be delivered here, for example, is what I'm trying to say. And then, so that that's our storage, and then if and only if it's completely full, uh, and we will request enough to completely fill this, we'll, we've got like, theoretically 12 train loads of, of either resource that we can fit here. Uh, if this, these two, are completely full, then we'll start voiding. Or rather, we'll turn it into landfill, and if we ever reach the point where we're completely full on landfill, we'll start throwing that into the crusher. The output priority storage, uh, yes, so from core fragment processing, uh, the... oh. Well, I was going to say, from core fragment processing, the uh, provide priority is set super high, and that's just because all of these are considered like byproducts, because if any of these stop, the whole thing stops. So we set that uh, provide priority super high because we're trying to keep it empty. And once more with feeling. Uh, this one goes here. I like to use um, logistic system chests and their colors to show what we're doing with our train stops. So default red uh, and passive provider chest for pickup stations, purple for something we're trying to keep empty, blue for a requester, and so on. Morpheus sound, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. On on Chester's, welcome, welcome also. The buildings on the rails at the stations are indeed bulk rail loaders and unloaders. Um, basically, they have built-in inserters that uh, that put items, uh, take items in and out of um, of trains very quickly. They scale with your stack bonuses as well. Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this? Did I request too much? Uh, Serenity Rage, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, 50,000. Well, that's definitely too high. Because we're not using the same size container here anymore. Okay, uh, what can we fit? Let's just say 320 times 2 times 50, 32,000. And we'll completely ignore the uh, 40 stacks here. What am I going to do with three trainloads of iron now, though? Um, I guess store it. Each of these can hold a train load. Do 
I have some loaders here? I do. Oh, I forgot this is coming in as well. Yeah, that's probably not helping. Um, I could just put a bit of wire here. I don't want it to be only when this is empty. Let's say iron less than... half. Actually, I think that's going to have about the same effect, right? Pro spaghetti chef, indeed. I'm trying to start an SE playthrough but can never plan enough space. Become spaghetti chef. Uh, I would mainly suggest trying to build... When I say build bigger in this case, I don't mean build more machines, just leave more space left over. Uh, I need more chests, and I don't know where the rest of them went. I thought I had a bunch of these strong boxes. I should just make some. Stop messing around. Okay. Uh, and we should have room for all of this here. I should have put all of these down a couple of tiles so that we can use a loader. That's interesting. Oh, I guess this is moving exactly 10 per tick, uh, per operation out because of the stack size. Our stack size is 5, so it's like, what, 2 stack inserters per loader? They probably have a higher tick rate than the, fast ins uh, than the stack inserters, though. I think my main problem is switching from startup base to city blocks. Yeah, it's hard to say when you should do that. The longer you put it off, the more resources you're going to have to play with to build, but the more of a pain it's going to be to move things over. Okay. Uh, let's design a small electric motor I think we've got already. I'll just double check that. And I was going to say green circuits and red circuits. We do indeed have small electric motors. Okay, time to design. I wonder why that takes so long. Probably because we're placing all of those entities simultaneously. It's not like when we queue up a bunch of them to be built. Right. So... I still haven't decided what I want to do about green circuits. I think it's just going to use too much space if we try to make it all out of wood and all that wood out of water. Does it use less stone if we if we go from sand and water? Oh, how do we make fertilizer? I don't want to get too carried away here, actually. We could make our fertilizer later. But how do we make it? Nitric acid. I don't have that. Biomatter. Where does nitric acid come from? 
rare metals, ammonia, mineral water, and ammonia is hydrogen and nitrogen. Nitrogen is from an atmospheric condenser. Okay, we can do that, but it's more steps than I want to bother with right now. Uh, if we were to use sand to make wood, but no fertilizer, uh, how much could we get? In, say, one rail block with no beacons or half a block. 16 per second. And only 4 sand per second. That doesn't seem that bad. How fast are we making sand here? 8 per second if we can keep up with the fragments, which we can't yet. Uh, we are one third of the way there. So, if we get three more core binding drills, most of the sand that we get from here directly would go into processes. But I think I'm okay with that. We can get one, two, three more core mines pretty easily. Um, we might need to turn on our nuclear reactor at that point. I don't really feel like making more biomethanol builds. But we could definitely run this off of sand. And that would give us how many green circuits without prod modules? Oh, we actually need three for one circuit. That's not so good. I th think we're probably going to go for stone tablets. Um, 16 over 3. We could have a whopping 5 green circuits per second. Whereas if we use stone tablets... Bearing in mind that both of these are going to consume stone. Electronic circuit. Um, if we were to do five per second of this, uh, it's going to be five per second stone tablet, which is a quarter of that. Wait, no. Stone brick makes four tablets, right? Five stone brick from ten stone. So two to one. And then tablet is one to four. So one stone makes two tablet. Therefore, one stone makes two electronic circuit. Whereas if it was made of wood... Um, how much sand goes into wood? Ten becomes forty, one becomes four. So one sand becomes more than one electronic circuit. Hmm. So basically... We can save stone by adding a step, but except that we don't have to add this step. This is one, two, three steps. This is ignoring the fact that we already have some sand. Uh, one, two, three steps. It's basically the same. Okay. But how easily can we keep up with, like, a decent rate of electronic circuits? Eighteen point six. That's... Um, that's only six green circuits per second. 
Wait, was this with the sand? It was. That's a lot. I think I think that's a lot just to save some stone, but on the other hand, we're so short on stone on this planet. Why don't we just try with stone tablets and see how bad it is? And we'll switch to the version where we grow a lot of wood. Um, if we're that desperate for a discount on stone. My cow, thank you very much for the six months. Much appreciated. Do you have an up-to-date blueprint book with your train slash grid stations? Uh, fairly up-to-date, yes, on the, um, on the Discord. Uh, I think I updated it a, a week or two ago. Um, but it's not super up-to-date. I can definitely do that. Kandar, Kandar Jr., thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The next question is, do we want... If I'm going to do multiple production steps in the one block, then there's not much point in doing a beacon space because the ratios are going to change. Are you going to get the stone back from the floor when you pave it over? Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, I can demonstrate that right now, actually. So we can definitely get the stone back if we do this. Whoops. If we do this. But I think if I just take concrete and put it down... How much stone do I have? Zero? Yes, it does give us stone back. Um, all right, let's do our build. I know it's not as stack dense, but you could make the case for doing stone tablets in the rail system. How many things does it go into? Heat shielding. Okay, well, that makes it pretty easy, actually. I think we already did that, actually, because of heat shielding. Heat shield... Yeah, because I built it... I think I built it under the assumption that I wouldn't process it, and then I just had to make stone blocks, uh, stone tablets. Alright, so we've got that right here. Um, therefore, we won't be doing it in block. This design fits uh, basic beacons very well as well. We can do four per basic, and we've got 12 uh, columns of 12. How? What kind of throughput are we going to need, though? How about we design it for the late game and scale it back after the fact? Not super late game. I'll use a wide area beacon, tier 1, with tier 9 modules. Um, so we want prod nines. Electronic circuit. And I believe it's something like this many to get minimum power consumption while still pushing for the maximum of speed. Negative 80% power, plus 300% power, okay. 
So how fast would this be consuming input? Wow, 800 per second out? That's a bit much. Um, the best belts we can get are 90 per second. Why don't we just go for like two belts, 180 per second for our target. I'll use a delivery cannon chest here, just for balancing the output. 800 per second, you're planning on setting your research costs up 100 times? Even if I was, I wouldn't try to go that fast in one block. Um, because... Good luck having the trains keep up. That's four stacks per second. So... It would be... A train has to arrive about every 20 seconds to pick up the goods. Never mind the drop-offs. But... Let me move this over a bit. Is this the middle? I think it is. I want it more or less in the middle around the output. Not to mention the input. Uh, we've got multiple inputs, so we can't use a delivery cannon chest here. The... Uh, Bulk rail unloaders work indiscriminately. Um, okay, what if... What would it look like if we're not using any modules? Green circuit... We can always remove buildings later on. Seventy-two per second, so less than two blue belts. We need the same amount of stone tablet in. And I forgot the most annoying part of green circuits. We need a ludicrous amount of copper cable. Um, I think it's three to two, right? Unless they changed it. Yeah, that's actually a perfect ratio. Um, Alright, fitting this nicely under a beacon just became a challenge. But I think direct insert, uh, insertion is still the way to go. Unless... Is there anything we can do with our loaders that would make this make more sense? Probably not. Ratio will be different with different modules, at least in vanilla. This is true. Um, I don't want to put wire in the rail network, though. It's too fast. Actually... Oh, the stack size is the same. I mean, the ratios for the stack sizes are the same. But it, it doesn't... It doesn't come out of belts so nicely. Is the thing. So, unless we're gonna do, like... Unless we were doing a direct insertion build, where we don't take belts from the rail network at all, and everything happened right next to a train station... Uh, it's not good to put cable in the rail network. Well, in that case, I guess we're not going to worry about the upgrade path because the ratios are going to change. So we'll get rid of the beacon. And... Maybe... Something like this... Why does that look weird? Because this is lopsided.
I need some fast inserters. Oh. Normally we do this. We need 1.5 per second in here, and the stone tablets need to come from somewhere. Uh, I don't particularly want to do belt. Wait, how did we do it on Nalvis? I think I remember stone tablets sitting in the middle. That's decent, except we have long arm outputs for the green circuits. Um, so we're very much not scaling this to using beacons. But we knew that already. I don't love this layout, though. Especially because I don't think it's going to fit... It's going to use up, like, most of the space horizontally in half a block. But we're not going to be able to double it. Where else can we get our stone tablets in? Uh, the stone tablets have to be super fast though, right? It's Per machine it's only 1.5 per second. But I think there was another reason we did direct insertion. Um, six stone tablets per second comes from one machine. And especially early on that's hard to keep up with, with inserters. But generally putting it onto belts isn't great. I think this is also a perfect ratio of stone tablets. Yeah, I guess I will go for this layout. Maybe we could have a bit better throughput and symmetry though. I might have to use both sides of the block for the kind of throughput that I'm probably going to want. Maybe do one more. How much throughput is that? It's actually a blue belt of copper. Not much stone brick because it's quite dense. And a red belt exactly of electronic circuits. Hmm. Okay then. That's almost too precise to pass up. But how many green circuits? Uh, 30 per second. Yeah, that'll meet our needs for the moment, and I'll happily double it. Uh, now we just need... I think I will still use the delivery cannon chest, I just won't have... Uh, the direct insertion from the unloaders. So, copper this way. We only need red belt, and we've got that being manufactured now. Let's double check. Uh, half a blue belt of copper plate. Yeah, that's fine. And I was thinking... For the output, something like this. Oh, how fast are these individually? 
1.5 per second. We could definitely do that with a long arm. Which is good because we're pretty short on fast inserters for the moment. Actually, I probably shouldn't have a red belt when we've got exactly a red belt of output. Um, you can't really count on the inserters putting onto belts to perfectly, perfectly manage all that. That should all be blue belt. Fantastic. It depends on the shape of it, but I'd rather not find out. Actually, we could always just test it while we're here. Um, the blue belts won't matter as long as we bottleneck it on red belt. Actually, no, they will matter, potentially. Because the inserters need to find gaps. You could use two yellow, then merge with a red splitter. Uh, yes. Yeah, as long as you have gaps for the inserters to put things onto. You're absolutely right. And then the stone brick needs to... find its way down here. Um, I'm crying because it's not going to be symmetrical. But what are you going to do? Oh, wait. I would actually like it better if I had room for a splitter here. No, it's fine. Can one inserter keep up with this? 1.5. Yes, it can. Inserters are craftable. Symmetry is forever. Indeed. Well, unless we're gonna bring the stone in from the side or something. I guess if we doubled the block, uh, if we brought it in from the side, that would be symmetrical. Or we could use the same logic to say if we flip this it's symmetrical. If you went with two yellow then you can center the stone. Two yellow. Uh this is true. It's a bit of a waste of belt, but it'll be symmetrical. Alright, symmetry. Here we come. Let's put that there. And then... Yellow belt, you say. We maybe won't do yellow belt here. Just because it would have the same... Well, we'll test it. Um, but it could have the same problem of... That's actually too far. Uh, let's just use red. I like this more. Aesthetically. And 
then we shouldn't have the slightest trouble. Oh, actually, that could have the exact same problem. I was going to say. If I make some of the inserters output near side and the rest out output far side, then we should have an excess of space um, to put stuff onto the belt when we first put it on, which is the main thing. And then it'll merge correctly to reach the bottleneck. That should be fine. All right, let's test it. We want a stone brick here. Oh wait, stone tablets. No, we're doing stone brick. We're doing stone tablets on the spot because of the high throughput, right? Well, it is only 30 stone tablets per second. Whatever, it's done now. And copper plate. Also, I've already got stone brick available. It's coming from Nalvis. And then... Connect this like so. That looks kind of weird. Stone brick. Less than... what is it? 2k? 20 stacks. And copper plate less than 2k. As long as we're able to put both resources in here. That's the main thing. What you made looks great. Thank you, Sport. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And then we test with actual resources. Oh, that would also mean that we're getting our stone from Nalvis for our green circuits, which is going to help a lot, to say the least. Uh, copper plate. And super insider. Not just because they're fast, but they don't need any power either. Um, I may have forgotten to put filters over here. It's possible. I mean, that would never happen normally, but it, it could, in theory. Almost, indeed. Gretchen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is why we test. Alright, so we should see this belt get completely saturated. And I believe that is what we are seeing. Very good. Oh, I love that pattern. Isn't Factorio just full of oddly satisfying movement patterns? Yeah, I like that a lot. Alright, and then we have a fast loader into here. And we should see these balanced. We haven't always seen them balanced. If it's slow enough, we don't see these two perfectly balanced. But, yeah, that'll be our green circuit build. Once we finish the stations. Electronic circuit provider. 
Don't need a regular request threshold, just a stack one. And we're looking for stone brick. A couple of train loads. Copper plate. A couple of train loads. Make sure we tell LTN what's in this chest as well. And... Station name time. I shouldn't have deleted that. Stone brick. Plus copper plate. Requester. Going into assembly machine. I guess it should say assembly machine 2 since that's exactly what we've got here. We're not going to be upgrading this one. We're going to be making a whole new one. Uh, and we're making green circuits. Stone brick from delivery gun, yes. And it goes to a train station immediately. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can never have too much copper, this is true. Well, I mean, I guess technically in SE you can because core mining. Oh, we didn't put power here yet. Before we blueprint it. Lighted substation. Uh, we're going to need this on both sides regardless. I want it to be symmetrical. How dare you. Put this up here and then it doesn't connect. It doesn't make a triangle. Ripperoni. This is fine. It's fairly neat. Okay. I think that's all the cheat items removed. Blueprint. Snap to grid eighty six twenty four. Green circuit. Basic. Nope. EC. Nope. Copper wire. Plug it manually. I. I don't understand. Plug it manually. What, is, what does that mean? I'm so confused now. Basic recipes. Let's put circuits down here together. Take copper wire, click on substation, then... Oh, right, you mean like, uh, like this. Yeah, I, I don't really feel like adding unnecessary connections. Um, that much. Especially when, like, when you do manual changes like this, uh, it can be a bit finicky as to whether it'll actually stick. Uh, okay. So that's our blueprint. Now we need to do red circuits. Actually, I'm gonna learn my lesson from before. And we're not going to make, we're, we're not going to design four blocks at a time and then wonder why it takes so long to actually build them. Um, but first I'm going to get some concrete. Quite a lot of concrete actually. Pave the world so it doesn't blind us.
Can we really do a whole block? We can. Before I run out here. Oh. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. If we put our green circuit build here, we don't really need the bottom right yet. Oh. What I should really be doing with the concrete already is... Making some hazard concrete so that we can make this thing. Uh, I do include 832 stone in this for where we're going to put the trees. Maybe we can have 832 stone as a treat? Of my inventory, please. Fantastic. Alright, uh, where's my stuff? There it is. We'll build what we can and see what's missing. some substations. I need concrete and copper wire, copper cable. And I also need some unloaders. Wait, that's wrong. I meant loaders. Maybe I'll learn to stop worrying and love leaving resources on the floor like that. Maybe not. Let's go get some... Oh wait, concrete is back here. Concrete. I never did finish that copper mine. And substations. Can we make some lamps? Oh, we are making some lamps. Uh, I guess I'll request some. To make this easier. Wait, does the... Does the sequence work to automatically, for the autocrafter, for the prerequisites, does it work to give us lighted pylon, uh, uh, substations rather? Let's see. Lighted medium pole, lighted big pole. Lighted substation. And I need this to update more often. Uh, we need to make regular poles first. Which I think happens organically. Actually, I could probably set that a lot lower. That's not quite what I meant. What am I doing? Big pole. Substation. Oh yeah, didn't we have some regular power poles or substations here? We 
do? What about the substations? We do. Give me those. Uh, I need the lights. Where where are the lights stored? No results. Wait, did I search for the wrong thing? No? Hmm. Okay then. Apparently we don't have iron beams either. That doesn't sound right. Iron beam. It's just not in a red chest. And we actually need small poles to make medium poles. Oh. I forgot I was making these. Well, they can stay. Small iron electric pole. All right, that's quite that's quite fast. As soon as the bots finish moving them, it's going to switch over to medium. And give me another half stack of these. Fantastic. All right, that should be fine. Let's go build. Finally get our green circuit throughput. Or rather, greater than zero green circuit throughput. I think I switched off the request for assembly machines a while ago. But we're going to do power poles first. Which, by the look of it, is going to be fairly quick. Uh, but this... I was gonna say this should produce at least a few. Uh, that's not quite right. And then we need inserters. Why don't I just use yellows temporarily? We need to get the things to help us build the things to help us build the things and so on. Uh, I could use filter inserters, actually. And once again, we'll put an upgrade planner to replace these when we have our proper inserters. And blacklist. Blacklist nothing. Where's our copper? Oh, we don't have it in the rail network yet. That would probably help. Alright, purple inserters become fast inserters. And we'll come back to that. Everything else looks like it's ready to go. Uh, so let's get our copper done. I might even put copper smelting right here. Since it's so close to... Oh, 
Pappe. I need a couple of unloaders. For that, I need iron. Where on earth am I going to get iron? And we want a requester. Uh, same as this, but instead of iron, we're looking for copper. I won't put the chest down until... Actually, I want to check. Will the bulk rail loader that we put down recognize that it should put things into this chest? I imagine yes, because otherwise blueprints would be a problem. That massive warehouse full of iron, indeed. Mikey, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tsungan, welcome, welcome also. I hope your stream has gone well. Hopefully, as quick question. Are you still planning to upload your VODs? Uh, yeah, I did lose a couple, unfortunately, though. I'd love to automate it, but um, as far as I can see right now... Why isn't this placing? Oh, because I'm making unloaders. You absolute duh. Uh, I can't fully automate putting the VODs on YouTube. Um, so it's easy to let some slip by, unfortunately. At least as far as I know. But yeah, I did send a bunch of them for export earlier today. Just enjoy watching and Twitch ads rupture the eardrums, yeah. Can imagine. Um, I thought I had it set up so that there's no mid-roll ads. We're only doing ads when we go to break? Is that not how that... W is that not what's actually happening? Let's see... Activate your schedule to automatically run ads. That's off. Except when watching back VODs. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Mid-roll ads, I have to say, are one of the quickest ways uh, someone can get me to finish watching. Mikey, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. And there you go, Sugan. Thank you so much, Mikey. I think I can... It won't let me flip this, right? So I need to remove these from the blueprint. And then flip. And then we can just... Put our copper here. Thanks very much, indeed. Thank you so much, Mikey. Next, we need to get you some subscriber badges. Uh, yeah, I've got... Oh, we don't need this. Um, I've got some emotes on the way soon, TM, as well. Um, but... There's some understandable delays involved with that. What are we missing here? Some furnaces, that's okay. And this is in the middle, isn't it? I believe so. Fantastic. Loader goes here. Um, I'm glad I confirmed that, though, actually, that people aren't getting ads thrown in their faces despite the
the settings that I thought I had set up. Uh, and then one of these. We can actually just copy-paste flip that, I think. Need a couple of express loaders. And that actually should all be the same. Wait, no, not the same settings. Because we're doing copper provider. It wouldn't have actually mattered. Um, you can have whatever station names you want. And we're actually not short on... Uh, we're actually not short on inserters because we're using stack inserters this time, but we're probably about to run out of them. Alright, so copper, and we'll probably need to actually finish our copper mine before that kicks in. Let's get our loaders here. And another delivery cannon chest. Oh, I wanted to check that... Yes, these are connected correctly. I reckon they should suspend mid-rolls for your first time watching or something. I was watching a music channel and... Mid one of my favourite songs and ad ruined it. Oh no. Need unloaders... Maybe check your in-loader? Uh-oh. Oh, I did a little bucky bucky. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. I'm surprised I didn't spot that sooner. Okay, that looks fine. Did you tear up your whole bus? Uh, nope, we're on a different planet. We're moving our main base to Hagen. And it is a process. Did we get our furnaces? We did. Fantastic. Uh, stand pickup. This is a finite source, so we're going to set the... Encoded network ID, so it doesn't go into storage. And... I guess we have one, two, three, four, maybe five belts. I'm loving... I'm loving how easy and neat... Um... Using these, uh, delivery cannon chests between the loaders. Loader to cannon chest to bulk rail loader. I'm loving how neat and tidy this is making it. One, two, three. We can still fit that. Although, maybe this should go here. That doesn't actually give us more room here, does it? This can go down here, I guess. I just realized these belts are facing the wrong way because I was going to just snake them through. But this is actually a lot easier now. This is what I was going to do with more of that. And here? No? Why are we blocked? Oh, because it's full. That's, that's a pretty good reason. Looks like our mine is good and working. Uh, 
one, I'll leave some of it behind for the old base. Is this covered? It is not. Ah, uh, that's awkward. How about here? There we go. And last but not least, well, actually last and least. These two. Fantastic. And there's our copper train coming in already. Why are you moving the base? A uh, couple of reasons. Most of all, late game, we're going to be able to have... Spaceships are going to have a much shorter route to get out of the solar system. You would think that's not that big of a deal. The, the distances between stars is vast. The distance within one star is relatively minuscule. Uh, in fact, incomprehensibly small, but uh, not in the space exploration mod. Going from Nalvis to Hagen, or sorry, Nalvis to, like, the interstellar map, would actually be a significant portion of the journey from Nalvis to a planet in Kalma uh, Kalmaya. Uh, and this is doubly important later on when we're going to use the anomaly to shorten our um, our trips. Uh, it's actually going to be 10,000 distance to the anomaly, 10,000 distance from the anomaly to the destination, and then two hops back again for a total of 40,000 plus a little bit more. Um, so once we're doing that, the difference in travel time for our spaceships, like going from here to somewhere else, to from here to somewhere else is actually huge. Uh, the other reasons are we've got more exotic resources on Hagen, we've got Cryonite. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are those greenhouse mods apart from K2SE, I mean? Uh, they're part of K2. Got a gifted sub some days ago, indeed. D Hose, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. You need one underground belt for your old bases miner. Uh, do you mean if I want to put all of it into the rail network? I think I'd rather... Oh, I see. Oh, huh. never noticed that. Do they have the belt here? I think they did. No. Oh, that means I'm going to be carrying an odd number. Oh, no. Let's pick this stuff up and pretend that I didn't come here by accident. actually have any yellow belts. As much as I love SE, I do find some of the building's animations a bit choppy. Uh, I guess. I think for a mod it does an amazing job with having the artwork look almost vanilla-ish. Um... I mean, it's it's still its own thing, but it, it doesn't look like it doesn't belong in the game. Oh, there's still... There's still a bit of copper here we haven't touched.
apparently a big number of the building sprites are still placeholder. If that's what they consider placeholder, then yeah, that's a good sign. Um, I should probably put this iron back over there. Alright, uh, so we actually have iron and copper plate here. Can I not put this here? Why not? There we go. Where's our copper? Is the train no pathing? Okay. Probably because of this. No. Where are, where are we able to get to? Oh, I tried to bring it in from the wrong side. This would be the easiest way to fix it. Should be a train coming. Or three, even. And I don't think it'll be very long before we see our electronic circuits. Is that all we need to make inserters work over here? We need inserter parts, which need iron stick and iron gear wheel. We can do that over here. I should put some robots here, but it's not like they can access everything in this big container. No path again. Uh, why not? Oh, because... Oh no. Don't tell me they're not going to be able to... Uh, okay, fine. How about this? It works. Data no. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The ingot former has placeholder written on it, indeed. The graviton building is pretty amazing looking, though. Is that so? I don't think I can build it right now. It's probably not going to let me place it here. Oh, yeah, I've seen this thing. That is... Pretty cool, actually. Especially when it's animated. I think I saw it on someone else's stream. Uh, how about... About this. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, do we have power? No, we don't have power. Still, it is a bit choppy. I yeah... I, I like I like this thing a lot better when it's not moving, to be honest. I swear it was smoother before. Mm. I don't know. Uh I think the gravimetrics facility I was using last version looked different. But is it the same thing or is it It is the same building, right? Uh, regardless, let's build our red circuits. And we're probably going to find that there's some other prerequisite we need. Um, that we haven't got yet. Add that circuit. Electronic components. Yeah, actually, I remember... I think earlier this stream I looked at electronic components and decided that we will put them in the rail network. Military tech card. All 
Alright. I think that's good enough, though. Alright, so electronic components, then. There's two recipes. One that includes lithium. Which is probably going to be better in the long run. 10 seconds makes 10. 4 seconds makes 4. So it's 1 per second either way. Two plastic, two glass, two silicon makes four. So one makes two. And this is three makes ten, so that's more than one makes three. How much of a pain is lithium, though? I think we've already done lithium back here. We need, like, three blocks. We need mineral water, which we've got. We need hydrogen chloride, which is just sand. Hmm. Considering how considering how thin stone is on this planet, um, I might not even want to go with this build just yet. We probably will need chlorine and so on relatively soon anyway, but I think for the uh, electronic components, we'll probably, in the short term, just want to go for the easier, uh, the easier build regardless. It'll actually be better for the, for the cost in stone. Wait, no, silicon and glass come from stone. So we should probably do this anyway. Which means we need a number of... Yesterday I was charged $10,000 for sending my cat into space. What? It was a cat astrophy. Oh no. <laughs> Beldak, thank you so much for the bits and pun. Much appreciated, thank you. What's the benefit of city blocks in K2SE? Seems like you wouldn't copy blocks anyway because you have unlocked higher level modules, new recipes, etc. Uh, if we do a block that only has one production step, then we can lay it out in such a way that we can add beacons later on. But more to the point, in space exploration, there's a lot of uh, recipes that have... Let me ban them. It's Veldak, though. <laughs> We're not banning Veldak. I mean, we'd need something a lot more egregious than a pun. Um, there's a lot of byproducts in SE. Core fragment processing is a really good example. Right here, we've got vanilla core fragment processing. Uh, it outputs... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 products. If any one of those gets backed up, the whole thing is going to stop. Um, it's much easier with things like this. I mean, in this case, it's basically all byproducts, but a lot of the recipes in space... There's a bit of belt uh, pipe missing here. A lot of the recipes in space have like, a main product that you're making and a bunch of byproducts that get spat out. And rail blocks are ideal for dealing with that. No punishment where no pun is meant. I entered 10 puns in a pun contest. I was hoping I would win, but no pun intended. Yeah, how do you like that? Uh, so... I think for now we're just going to paste a bunch of rail blocks that we've already got so that we can get the lithium. I just need to decide where it's going to go. So the first thing we need is sand becomes all of this. Sand and water. Oh, it's thirsty too, otherwise I would have dropped it off with the rail network. Wait, that's not thirsty. 128 water per second? That's not very thirsty at all. We can put this wherever we want. 
Um, so there's chlorine, there's lithium chloride, and then there's lithium. Oh. Nope, that's fine. Chlorine, lithium chloride, lithium. And it's only the one that needs water, but the water is slow, so we could put it anywhere. Uh, this one actually needs water, but very, very slowly. Okay, then. Let's try and put the first two next... Why don't we try to put all three next to each other somewhere? Maybe up this general direction? Does that? Oh, that's a good fit. That was lucky. That iron mine is going to be in the way of this roundabout, I think. If only for a little while. Um, how about here? Two, three... I definitely like them to be next to each other. And we need... Where, where are we going? First step is hydrogen and chlorine. Then we do lithium chloride. And then lithium. Wait, that's lithium battery. Lithium... I called both of these li lithium... Uh, basic lithium. Uh, we can see from the icon... No! Which is which? And then lastly... Lithium itself. Okay, we got some building to do. Um, I also don't think I've put a stone mine into the rail network, unless you count coal mining. Also, also, I guess I'll put the off coal mining drill there. We'll pretend that there isn't a bit of iron trapped underneath it for all time. We'll get more iron out of it. By not procrastinating. Give me that drill. Good day. Get it done. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh, this is worse than I thought. Um... Uh, okay. Can we maybe prioritize this belt? Somehow? We definitely can. Let's go with... Like this. And... Unconditional. Actually, read belt contents. Hold. Everything equals zero. Okay. So we're only gonna use the rest of the mine once this bit is empty, actually. Now I need something to sink iron. I could... Oh, that's already pretty full. Never mind. I don't think I have another consumer of iron. I could add a big container, but how far is that going to go? This one has 120k. Landfill time? 
Oh no. We will need some landfill. And there's no shortage of iron on this planet. There is a shortage of stone. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we've already got it set up to make landfill from the overflow from coal mining, but that's going to take a while, it seems like. It's, I need to finish this as well. It'll get done. Let's go build some rail blocks. And we need 16 electrolysis plants, 24 chemical plants, another 16 electrolysis plants. Can we make... uh-oh. We have no lamps. Uh, we need a maximum of, let's say, 200 before we make these things. Are storage blocks worth it? Uh, they are because they're not just storage blocks. Uh, regardless of the merits of a storage block in and of itself, I've combined the storage block with uh, it's going to get rid of overflow, but only from infinite resources. So we're not making storage blocks for, like, iron plate, for example. It's only stuff that comes from core mining. That we need to be able to get rid of, but we're, but we've got lots of storage so that we have to accumulate quite a lot of it without using it before we start wasting any of it. All right, there's already a train coming, so let's go back and get some more rail. Oh, I know what I can. Actually, that's not going to help that much. Shift C, drop off the iron I have. So let's have a look. Hagen. Iron ore is like the second most common resource on Hagen. And copper ore is not that far behind it. It's really just stone and coal that's a problem. Uh, what was I coming back here for? Besides lots of rail. Let's just place that. Are the planet names always the same? I still have not found Hagen in my game. Yeah, I thought... Uh, I thought certain things were always the same. Like, based on my own experience, I thought Hagen was always here in the Calidus system. But that's not actually true. I think you'll always find Nalvis here, with a Vulcanite planet here, tiny moon or two here, uh, an ice planet here, but yeah, I thought this was always Hagen, but it's not. We've got Hyperion. That was our, um, that was one of the special planets last playthrough. I think that's where the giant robot spider was. I believe they're somewhat random, given a set of names that's mixed up a bit. Yeah. There are a bunch... I, th I think there's probably a bunch of planets that are just uh, procedurally generated, and there's a bunch that have specific properties. Um, it is a reward for... Um, what is it called? For donating uh, to SE. Uh, patron reward or something that um, you can have a planet named and it's going to have specific properties and stuff. The only 
thing I don't like about that is we don't get to name planets. But it's fine. Cornetto, always an ice world, indeed. Cornettos are decent ice cream. Frontal mass ejection heading for Sage. I don't even know where Sage is. Oh, here it is. Mineral water planet. Wait, wait, wait. It's mineral water core fragments, but the surface... Oh, I thought it was a desert looking planet. It's a bit different. Back for some more rail and stuff. Down we go. What are we missing here? Stone brick. Uh, I've got a million stone brick over here, but this is outside of the rail network. I need to get my mole going properly over here. In fact, I could sort of just move everything that I've got here to that place. It's going to be a bit of a tedious process, but... That seems like a suboptimal way of doing things. Alright, give me this rail. What do we got? Five, six hundred? We're gonna need a lot more than that. We can probably get one block going, maybe. Electrolysis plant, though. What do we need? I might just handcraft it. Uh, I can already make four. I need automation cores. Which I'm sure we still have quite a few of. Uh, what do we have? 970 in this chest. Nope, it was this chest that has 970. Electrolysis plant. I need glass. need copper. I don't think we have copper here. Copper plate. Oh, it's over there, obviously. Uh, how many do I have? Three plus six, nine, ten... 16. That's enough for the first block. And since it's relatively easy, why don't we do the next few? Uh, I need another 13. Need some more room in my inventory. Glass again. I'm not going to build these often, so I don't want extras lying around. Uh, 18 plus 7... We need... 6, 7 more, I think? Could you elaborate a bit on your choice to put the main base on Hagen? Is it just for fun to do it differently or purely strategic? Uh, all of the above, I guess. So when we use spaceships, um, spaceships are actually going to have a significantly shorter trip because we're at Hagen. Um, the distance that it takes to get from here to the interstellar map is actually a lot more than you would think compared to the distance between the stars. Um, it's not 
like, it, it's the opposite of realistic. The distance traveled within the Calidus system is a significant chunk of the journey. Um, that's only going to get exacerbated when we start using the anomaly uh, to have really short trips everywhere. Wesley Coder, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we also have a greater variety of resources on Hagen. We don't just have Cryonite. We've also got Holmanite and Immersite, although not a whole lot of it. I did not know that. Interesting, indeed. Um, there are, of course, going to be some growing pains setting up a base here this early. But the earlier we do it, the less of a pain it's going to be to move. More than distance, the relevant stat would be Delta V. Yeah, but it's not like the game simulates orbital mechanics or anything. Uh, Delta V is basically just distance. But the um, the Delta V is relevant as well. That That is a good point, despite what I just said, because... The radius of Nalvis is larger as well, significantly larger. 5,692. Um, this is 3,810. So it's going to take less energy to get off planet. Um, we're not going to have to spend as much fuel, although that depends on the relative availability of oil. Um, we're not going to have to spend as much fuel getting into space, um, although that's not as important once we have space elevators. Uh, in fact, once we have space elevators, it's almost irrelevant, um, because from what I've seen, the maintenance cost for those is incredibly cheap, even if you're on a big planet. Um, but until we get there, the... The effort it takes to get off planet is significantly lower. Oh, are we actually almost done building this? Just need some yellow inserters, a bit of pipe, and of course some rail. How far you? How far are you from the space elevator? Whoops. Space elevator. Uh, energy one, astro one, and material two. And the f we we haven't we've got space science packs. We don't have prod science packs. We have to go to another planet for that. We do have everything we need on this planet to get utility science packs. Um, but we need to build up our infrastructure again. And we need to go to orbit in any case to do all of these. I think we need Holmium for energy science packs, which uh, we do have on Hagen, actually, in finite supply. Uh, for the exotic resources, we've got Iridite. Holmanite is right here, actually. That's incredibly close. That's nice. No biters here? Zero biters. Um, which is a lot less of an issue than it was before. Since we switched from rampant to not rampant, because UPS tanked uh, very, very suddenly, weirdly enough. Um, but ever since we switched from rampant, we've basically had zero biter attacks on Nalvis. Um, however, the entirety of Nalvis is covered in biters, pretty much. And Hagen has zero biters. So that is a slight improvement. Um, I probably have these lying around, but can I just craft them? One, two, three. Not quite. Tank. 
large storage tank is over here. Still Fighting Biters is just a resource thing. Yeah, it's also a pretty big distraction from time sync. Uh, Alright, we have a whopping seven storage tanks, that'll do. Let's have the bots empty my... Are our storages full? No, they're not. I guess they give stuff sooner than they take stuff away. How much rail do we have? Nowhere near enough. Oh, is this... it's a passive. Okay. This thing is still stuck. What is it stuck on? Stone brick. I forgot to bring it stone brick. I th think it's probably going to be better if I just... Wait, no. Why don't I make an electric furnace? Do we have one lying around? We do. Fantastic. Um, I don't want to use another container. So how about... Can I squeeze this through here? I can. our stone brick. I was tempted to just keep bringing it over manually every once in a while, but this is obviously better in the long run. Not that we want to still be here in the long run, but we will be for a little while. Let's go place this rail and stuff. You could have forced Utility Science Pack sooner to get the requester chests. Um, I don't know about that. What does it take to make Utility Science Packs? I mean, we need to physically get to space first. Machine Learning Data, Crinite Rod, which we've got now. Space Transport Belt, Efficiency 1. So it's really just Machine Learning Data that we have to add. But that's... That's not small. Um, but yeah, as soon as I get my mall going with a decent tech level of stuff that we can make here uh, automatically and effortlessly, um, then I'll want to get into orbit. Where's our loaders? Here we go. What are we building? There we go. Need some chemical plants. Can we make those over here yet? Chemical plant. Steel beam, small electric, glass, stone brick. Uh, so that's a no. We need small electric, glass, and stone brick. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for red circuits this aggressively. But we can't even get red splitters until I do. We need some water. Which I forgot to add. Also, could we maybe... Put this back in the box for a second. I'd actually like to update this so that we use the chest. 
delivery cannon chest, that is. We need one, two, three, four outputs, that's fine. Although this is quite neat, and the delivery cannon chest won't be quite so neat. Uh, considering we need four belts going into it. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have changed this at all. Let's just put that back. Pretend it didn't happen. Uh, which one's this? Chlorine. Basic hydrogen? Is that it? Yes. Fantastic. I'm surprised. I guess I'm not surprised. I saw it earlier, but that we have this much sand is surprisingly good. Uh, are we finished this build? We need two chemical plants. For that I need iron and copper. It's kind of convenient having them next to each other. And... Yeah, I was just trying to figure out if I could automate the chemical plants a second ago, but not really is the answer. 24 more to go. Um, we also need glass. We've got plenty. Stone brick. I don't have any on me. Let's head down here. What are we missing? Uh, copper. Okay, give me more stone brick. Put this in my trash for the moment. Give me more copper. And can't even remember quite how many of these we're making, but that's probably enough. That's why I thought having a pre-mole with the intermediates. How did you cancel those rail building drones? Rail building drones? Do you mean the construction bots? I, I don't know when I cancelled something. Alright, I think we're good in this block for now. I'm not overly concerned about the wind turbines right now. Uh, that handcrafting is going to take a minute though. Oh, the wiring. Oh no. That's a lot of wiring. Um... But if I cancel, it's going to fill my inventory. We'll just build some other stuff in the meantime. Uh, RF Holloway, glad if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. They flew toward the rail but quickly turned back. Ah, uh, that's the jetpack. So whenever you activate or deactivate the jetpack, technically you die. And it causes everything to reacquire you as a target and so on. That's why it confuses biters. Oh. Oh, oh. Maybe when I... Was I near rail when I put the rail in my trash slots? Not to my knowledge. Um, let's place this concrete since we need the inventory space anyway. This thing's mostly built. Don't forget to include the water. Let's not stand on the tracks. I could always put a second pump here if I want to really improve the flow. But it doesn't take that long to drop off fluid that'll last a while. Uh, 
and we need to connect to this here and request threshold 50,000 water uh, lots of it it's only 128 per second oh that handcraft isn't going to happen for a minute I wish it would put what you're crafting at the front of the queue, or I wish there was a shortcut to do that anyway. Just noticed that when I started jetpacking in my logistics network, indeed. It was you landing on the ground, yeah, that's that's what that would have been. You used to be able to jetpack, like, toggle it much more often, like, as quick as you could go, basically, but they got rid of that Maybe people were abusing it against biters or something, I don't know, but it feels bad having to wait. It's it's a short it's a short wait, but even so. I used to just like pop up and down really quick. Maybe I should have delayed building advanced circuits and just used the stockpile that I have here. Almost definitely. Alright, uh, where's our rail? Give to me all that rail. We should almost be able to finish that. Chemical plants are coming along. I need pipe. That's what I came back for. Away we go. Did we finish this? We did not. That's why there's trains that are stuck. Yeah, that is... Way, way, way slower unlo unloading the water compared to if the pump went directly into the tank. But the overall rate that we're going to need to bring trains in here isn't that fast, so it really doesn't matter. At worst, if you multiply that out a number of times, you're going to end up needing a few more trains. And which fluid is this? Wait, what? What fluid do we need for lithium? Uh, water. Let me guess, we're not requesting it because we piped it in last time. This one looks fine now. And what about this one? Mineral water plus hydrogen chloride. Uh, I wanted to check that that wire was connected as well, which it is. Hydrogen chloride is not getting built because... Uh, probably because the water isn't connected, which is probably a product of... I didn't have to do it on Nalvis. There we go. Now we just need some Dracos. Actually, this isn't electrolysis, is it? Oh, it is. We don't need sand for this in oxygen not included. Fantastic. 
I think we're only missing some wind turbines. That's fine. Right, so it's going to take a little while to confirm that it's all working, but we should have lithium. Now we need a sink for chlorine. Uh, but because we do have lithium map labels, good point. Lithium. Let me just turn this on so we can see easily which one's which. Lithium chloride and uh, this is like three products but it's hydrogen chloride and its component parts so that'll do. input on the last block. Oh, true. Thank you. Let's go fix it. Let's not fly over the... No, no, let me go, let me go. Don't fly over the uranium. Actually, I should probably... We've still got a while before we run out of power, but I'm thinking I should get uranium mining and processing going next. Only thing is this is going to be a little bit less symmetrical, but then we were doing an even width chest out of an area with a single block in the middle, so it was already asymmetrical one way or the other. Move that substation a bit. Right then, we have a whopping 2.6k chlorine and oxygen, oh, hydrogen, sorry. 64 per second is not that high. This is one of the few builds that doesn't fill a train five seconds after I build it. Okay, get out of here concrete. I went past the uranium again, but we missed it. Alright, so we have lithium now, which we needed because electronic components, I think. Yeah, 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 if we want to do the good build for electronic components. Uh, we also need plastic, glass, and silicon. Okay, one thing after another. Um, I could see myself doing them up here. Actually, plastic... I mean, we've got a tiny bit of plastic here. But that's not really going to cut it. Plastic goes through petroleum fairly quickly, right? Oops. That's 280. It's not that fast compared to what I was expecting. It doesn't really matter where we put the block. Do we have a plastic block? I don't think we do yet. I already had a wood block. I could have just copied that. But I still think using wood for circuits wouldn't have been that good. At least not before we get a uh, fertilizer. Maybe then, we'll see. Uh, what other blocks do I have already that I want to steal? I think we're getting close to... Having taken most of them. Still need to do raw rare metals. Um, 
Where do we get dirty water from other than cleaning pollution? Oh, this thing's still looking backed up? There should be a gap in here somewhere. That's weird. Huh. We're not adding new uh, filters to the belt unless this bit of belt is empty of pollution filters. But I guess recycling the um, the empty the used pollution filters that we already did have got it back to the saturation point. What about this one? That one looks like it's working perfectly. That's not quite right. The first third of it, approximately, isn't working because we're not keeping up with the used pollution filters, apparently. Oh, this... We wanted this to be a red number, not a green number. Whoops. Yeah, if this was exactly zero or slightly in the red, we'd be fine long term. But I didn't realize green number is not good number in this case. Okay. Um, so I don't think we have a plastic bill. Let's do that. Uh, that's just one solid in and one fluid in. Have we done that already? Probably. What is sulfur? It's two fluids. Explosives? Uh, explosives is one belt of input and one fluid. We could probably borrow from that. Don't see why not. Get out of here, trees. I think you have a plastic block. Uh, do I not? Do I? I don't have the blueprint. I think it's unlikely I would have made it without making the blueprint. But I was just looking around on Nalvis for the plastic block. And I don't think we have it. We've got sulfur, we've got explosives. We didn't get to plastic. So in that case, plastic. Um, individually, the machines are quite slow. And we could definitely do with a cannon chest right here. I saw it too at the bottom on Nalvis. Oh. At the bottom on Nalvis. Uh. You, you're not. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes, indeed. Nice. Let's grab that. Sneaky. I think I failed to spot it partly because of the recyclers here. Next to heat shields. Yes, thank you. Alright, that saves us some time. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have it blueprinted. Just rip the trees. And... 
rest of our block back. Uh, don't actually need this. Or this. And... Frontal mass ejection heading for Sage. Sage is not a planet we have visited. So we need petroleum and coal. Let's just test this. Especially since we just ripped it up a little bit. Also, we'll take the opportunity to make this a bit neater, unless Rupert is bad. 96, uh, sorry, 48, just slightly more than one blue belt of coal. Easy enough. Alright, so this goes here. We need some fast loaders. Goes there. One off. Feels bad. And... Oh. Hmm, we're really seeing the limits of using the bulk unloader to unload itself right here. But is it enough to saturate? Uh, probably. I was going to say probably, but we haven't powered this properly yet. And that was probably why the output from here was so limited, actually. Oh, we definitely don't need this Cthulhu belt here. Not anymore. Let's delete Cthulhu. And put a delivery cannon chest here. Bring this down like so. Fast loader. And that'll do, I think. Nice. Definitely could have moved this over a tile, and maybe it would have looked a little better the way this lines up. It's not too late to do that, I suppose. But then... but then nothing? Does this reach? Yes, it does. Now this one does reach. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Yes. And this is going to go over here. Uh, we couldn't really fit a big beacon there. Ronal mass ejection heading for Sage. Oh, no. He was too young, your monster didn't have time to destroy anything. <laughs> My bad. Uh, this is in the middle, right? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Move that over one tile. That looks much nicer. Not perfect here, but it can't be perfect here. It's as good as it, as good as it gets. Uh, 
Okay. Plastic. Train stop name, snap to grid, 86, 24. T-Hex doesn't destroy, he is destruction. Uh-oh. They're on to me. Super inserters, get out of here. Infinity chests, get out of here. And then... I think we're done. Alright, so where should our plastic go? I'll put these three together since they're in a sequence. Plastic? It doesn't matter that much. But I think I would like to put it up here. It's not like we have to put it next to water or anything, at least. But since plastic has pretty high throughput, generally, we don't want it to be too far from things. Especially depots. How much of this can we build without hesitation? I don't know, but I'm feeling the need to place concrete. We ran out of chemical plants. There'll be a train coming once there's a pass, but not before. Blueprints can't be done by an automatic bot network. Uh, they can, I just have my preferences and reasons that I don't do that. Um, I've been watching Damsel uh, building out her base on quite a similar planet. And she said, I love it, but I hate it, of the big bot network. Because yes, it'll build things for you at wherever, but the bots will take forever to get there, and sometimes you'll go to build something, and instead of everything that I was able to build just here just now, half of it'll be reserved by a bot that's two kilometers away. Um, but also, uh, sooner or later I'm going to have blocks that have robots in them. Like, we're going to have sh small specialized robot networks. Particularly with bot attrition, um, this is quite good because you can have 50 bots, 50 logistic bots that is, in a robot network before logistic bot attrition kicks in. It's not per planet or per surface, it's, uh, it's actually per robot network. So having one giant robot network is it means you're going to lose a lot more bots. Actually, let me do it this way. Just get infinite bot move speed? No, I don't think I'll do that. Seems lazy? Nothing wrong with that. But is it the kind of lazy that... Is it the kind of proactive laziness that makes it better for you later on?
Besides which, it's not really building things that we're bottlenecking on, it's having the actual resources for the most part, and designing things. The bad kind, I guess I mean idleness. Okie dokie. We're out of assembly machines again. Because we have no small electrics. Um, how much goes into small electric? It's just iron and copper. I should have built a block for small electrics already. Let's build it over here since I'm sure quite a few of them are going to go into the uh, into the mall. Blocks, small electric, and go. For me, is convenient even better if you are not in that planet but need a blueprint placed? That's what Spidertrons are for. And of course the bots placed the few assembly machines that I had. Most of them in positions where they won't get used. Oh wait, uh, do we want to update this? No, because we're doing multi-resources. Okay. Wait, 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 what? What? I already have these? Apparently? Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. I forgot to pick up lots more rail. Why am I... Oh, I see. Fair enough. I'll just place what we can while that crafts. And can I maybe handcraft this? Not even. Give to me... Oh, I'm actually keeping, like, only a stack of iron, copper, and steel in here. Because stack sizes. I should go up here for that. And while I'm at it, let's get a bunch more rail. Drop off the stone. Where's our rail? Down here? Uh oh. Right, that makes sense. All of this steel is coming from this iron down here, not from the robot network. Um, what's the quickest, laziest way I can redo this so that we make rail consistently? Probably just put it up here. Uh, this plus iron plate. There we go. And then passive provider. We don't have steel beams. That's what I meant to fix. Steel beam. I had down here because I didn't want... Oh, I've got another requester chest. This will do for the moment. We need rail in large enough volume that I don't want to leave it to the autocrafter. 
Um, string group. That's not the problem. Why is this stopped? Because we don't have stone. Alright, that'll be a bit faster. And the other thing I came for was mostly assembly machines, I think. To make it a little bit easier on myself if I take pre-made copper wire. Muted? Oh no. My bad. How long was I muted for? I didn't clear my throat into the mic, did I? I mean, that would never happen. Of course I didn't. There's our copper. Nope. Okay, good. Better a bit of silence than something like that. Where's that coming from? Oh, from uranium. Okay. Don't think we desperately need these two, but I'll place them anyway. Probably what you need it for, yeah. Okay. That doesn't load as quick as I thought it would. Actually, it'll improve with our stack sizes, though. We've only got a stack size of, I think, five on our stack inserters. Yeah, they're pretty basic. I'm sure we could make something faster with inserters, but it'd be a lot more entities. And you need pretty much too much throughput for a single station for that to matter. It also looked like they were low on storage internally. Oh, that could be it. Yeah, 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 that was probably it. Because they only, they were bottlenecked by the belt. Julio? Oh, Julio, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get some rail again. We already have only 152 actually, but it's not that bad. Let's make sure the 
three trains trying to go to plastic have a path. And I should probably hurry up and put a couple more locomotives into the network as well. And the trains are moving. It was actually just two pieces of rail that were missing. Fantastic. We really need blue inserters. And we should probably place them where we've actually got chemical plants, since we're handcrafting a few. You know what? Um, I'm not that worried about the throughput right this minute. It's just barely functional. Which is all I'm looking for. I'll place five more. Once we get the production chains that we're after at the moment, then it'll be a lot easier to make the stuff we want. So that we can build faster. And so on. Do we not have... Oh, I forgot. I keep switching it off. Uh, let's see if we can't autocraft some other stuff here. Let's see where it gets stuck. And once this thing's working, I'll bring it some... Small electric motors. Oh, I needed a loader, not an unloader. I always get these mixed up. It's a problem. I think the ghost looks a bit more like an unloader, if you don't look really closely. Uh, so hopefully we have enough trains now that they will deliver to this one. There we go. And we just need iron, copper, and gears. And this will help a lot with some of the things that we need to craft. Especially roboports, because they want 50 small electric motors. Do we actually have enough for all of this to work? We'll find out when we have... 50k hydrogen chloride. It actually produces all three of these at the same ratio. And here they come. Oh, that's iron, actually. Iron is leaving. Copper is coming. One more train delivery, and we'll have... A flood of assembly machines. And then I really want green circuits. We've got green circuits. Oh, beautiful. Give give me all of those green circuits, please. Fantastic. Um, assembly one needs iron gears. Stone brick automation port four. I nearly said automation plate. So let's go grab stone brick, iron gear, and automation core. Iron gear is back this way. Oh, I should bring a bunch more stone brick back to that mall as well. That might help. I'm sure that one furnace isn't 
keeping up that well. Probably. Um... That's not as many assembly machines as I was hoping to see. Before we have to... Oh wait, automation core. Gimme, gimme. Uh, here. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Uh, we're handcrafting small electrics. Whoops. At least we have all of the components for small electrics. And we'll use that to make more small electrics. Are we missing any rail? Uh, yes and no. Yeah, that's not a bad pace already for unloading the trains. We need inserters. Well, there's your problem. Um... I'm just gonna do this. Won't be that long before we're done handcrafting the assemblers. I think I should put those off, actually. Inventory is full. Did I just drop stuff on the ground? Item on ground. Uh, yes. Yes, I did. I guess we can finish this one. That's an improvement. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be deliberate here. Let's be more deliberate here. It's backward, isn't it? Oh. The fast inserter doesn't actually keep up with the wiring. Uh, I do have 39 stack inserters here. Let's make use of them. Getting to catch you for my lunch break at work makes me happy. Thank you. No effort. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, of course I picked the one of these that doesn't actually have a machine. Fantastic. Nice. One by one. Alright, let's grab some small electric motors. Now we can do this faster. So what are we missing to fully automate inserters here? Uh, parts, right? Inserter parts is just iron stick and iron gear wheel. I was going to put iron stick here, wasn't I? See how far we can go. And... Do this again. Can we get... Oops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Give me a yellow inserter, actually. Why didn't we make it out of this one? There we go. Uh, 
Oop, don't do that. <laughs> okay. The wire goes here. Same setting, different item. Michelle Grinnett, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Even though I never forgive losing to you at marbles? Savage. I hope I got the name right, I just realised. Why am I still holding on to heat exchanges? Yatu Watu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Let's get small electric. Uh, what is it? 2,000, 4,000 is one train load. Uh, so I'll make it a train load and a half. So we don't have to wait till it's empty. And then... It's getting kind of full in here. That's a lot of iron beams. What? How did we end up making that many iron beams? We have 11,000. Did I request them from the rail network? Oh, I did. What? I don't... I... I do have iron beams in the rail... Okay, okay. So this guy... You, you can stop. And we'll use that for something else. Belts come before inserters, and we can't make... Oh, we have green circuits. Let's bring those in. Kind of running out of space here, though. Maybe I should set this to allow itself to be empty of a certain resource before we request more. Um, eight thousand. Eight thousand. 4,000, or at least I should just set it a little bit higher than this. Uh, anyway, we do want green circuits. Uh, I almost... Electronic circuits, not literally called green circuits. Alright, so... 16k is one train load, I think? since it stacks to 200. Yep, 16k. And it looks like we are now able to craft everything that we've queued up so far. Let's see how far we can get with inserters. I'm sure we're not going to get to stack inserters. In fact, I know that for a fact. Alright, how much have we got here? 2k red belt. We're just doing the splitters now, actually. Fantastic. Where's our green circuit train? There is enough already. Electronic circuit, 16k. Don't tell me all the trains are busy. They are. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's have some more... Some more trains. Do we have any more locomotives and stuff lying around here? Loco... Zero... Cargo wagon... Five. Alright, so I just need to make another locomotive. Uh, cargo wagon is not immediately visible. 
Whoa. Cargo wagon is in this chest. Sneaky. Let's make one more and however many locomotives we need. Uh, apparently we're handcrafting quite a lot for that. Do I have multi? Cylinder engines? I do. 24, 2.4k. Yeah, I should have remembered I had that. Let's stop that for a sec. Give me a stack of these. Can we handcraft these quickly now? Relatively. Let's see, one, two, three. And that's as many as I have. We need steel plate. And even more multi-cylinder engines already. Alright, so that is, what, two trains? I think I want one more. Even more multi-cylinder engines. And probably some more steel plate. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six locomotives. And I have zero in my inventory. And I have six cargo wagons. Uh, so that's three trains. Fantastic. Let's cut off the rail here before a train drives into our spot as we're trying to create more trains. LCCL. Oh, it does go off center depending on the rotation. Huh. Okay. You are close enough. Okay, thank you. Still amazes me that you can casually handcraft a train or nuclear reactor in your pocket in Factorio. Well, it's not as casual with the cost of it in K2SE, but yes. You can carry a whole bunch of reactors, rocket silos in your backpack. Indeed. Daria, good to see you again. Welcome. What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. No, no. 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 Please. Uh, yeah, I, uh... I kind of sort of a little bit came to the wrong depot, which is weird because I did think of that earlier. Okay, this is where we will be placing our trains. I assume that's that the bunk had something to do with that. Wrong size train, indeed. Shrinking technology with the handcrafting. The locomotive itself takes a whole minute, actually. That's a lot slower than I was expecting. Let's put this here. And we'll come back to these ones. But we should be able to enable this already. And then... Small electrics looking good. EC is looking good. EC is gonna run out in... Oh wait, I changed it to ask for exactly one train load. Let's just add like... Five stacks for each of these. So... 250, 250, uh, 500, 500, and what about the ingots? I maybe went a bit overboard with the ingots, or was it just one train load? 
No, we didn't have as much steel. So... These should be the same as... Small, electric, and so on. Oh, that is actually... Exactly one train load. Then how did we end up with... This much... Iron ingot? Who knows. I could always take some back if I have to. Wait, I probably couldn't do that because most of these are saturated. Well, some of them are. Iron is. The other two, not so much. It was a 1-2 depot, yes. I mean, this depot... I'm just going to mark it on the map. Uh, this depot is for train length 1. This depot is for train length 2. We don't have or need any fancy fluid depots or any systems for recycling items that accidentally come back to the depot uh, because we have the LTN settings to, to make sure that the train just stays stuck at its destination instead, uh, which I would say is preferable compared to the alternative. Right then. There's our green circuits. Fantastic. We now need insert parts. Which requires iron stick and iron gear. Which we've got here. I think... Oh no, let's use our prereq system here. Um, I guess that means inserters all have to deal with these prereqs. Parts. Uh, make sure we have at least, I don't know, 50. before we do this. That's how that works, right? And then we have to request insert of parts up here. I wish I could set it so that... I'm sure I could with more combinators. Set it so that I just put a positive number for the amount of prereq we want to make instead of having to double up on this. I would need to... Oh. Okay, if I, w I would have to add a combinator, another negative one combinator. Wait, would I? Yeah, because we have to feed a negative to here. Okay then, how about this? Negative one times whatever this is uh, to subtract our prerequisites from what we actually have here. And positive one times our prerequisites. Let's just belt. Okay, the only trouble is I can't have different numbers. So we're going to have to be completely... completely done making our prerequisites before we make the other things. I think I can live with that. Let's set our goal for 2,000 red belt. And... These ones just work automatically, pretty much. And then green wire across these two goes straight to the requesting system. Did I make a boo-boo? Oh, I didn't do times negative one here. Yeah. 
Yes. So once we have 50 inserter parts, it's, it should switch over. Um, I want to change it back to only updating once every 30 seconds. So that we don't just constantly switch back and forth here. We'll overshoot our target a bit, which is fine. Is this some kind of magic? Yes. Yes, it is. Alright, so we've already got 94 inserter parts. Once it swaps recipe... Once it updates... There we go. Now we're making burner inserters. And once we reach the target for that, which we already have, when it refreshes again, probably in about 10 seconds or so, we're going to start making yellow inserters. Oh, we lost... We ran out of inserter parts. That's fine, we can spend another 30 seconds making inserter parts. Let's get these trains in motion. Fantastic. And... I think I already got the deliveries I was waiting on. Funny how this container isn't quite big enough. If I did some smart inserting and just put a little bit, well, we'd run out of space here as well. Whatever, it's fine. We need automation core and small electric motor. Oh, we've got small electric requested. We just don't have a train load of it. We almost do. Let me go speed it up a bit. Although, oh, whoops. I'll probably end up stealing the uh, small electric motors to speed up the small electric motors. Green circuits, you say? How about now? Iron stick, iron gear wheel, and automation core. Where's the stick? There it is. And automation core is way over here. I'm going to be a bit lazy. That should be all the machines. What have we got left to go here? Nine? And then we just need more fast inserters. I should borrow the inserters from over here that we've already got. It'll speed things up, even if we haven't got the actual fast inserters yet. Oh, I guess it's just burners. Well, that'll help. That'll help more than I thought, actually. Yeah, that helps a lot. Because we're not handcrafting inserter parts. Alright, how much have we got? Creeping towards a train. I could just deliver some myself, actually. But it's so close. We 
need more circuits, not yet. Um, automation core. I'll definitely pick up a bunch of those from the old base. Transwilder, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Automation core. Are we running low on these now? Auto... Oh, that looks fancy. AI core. We have 764, so that would be a no. Let's steal some. And small electrics. Are they on the way yet? Uh, they will be very, very soon. Soon enough that I'm not going to go chasing them. What should I do in the meantime, though? It's going to be like 30 seconds to a minute. Figure out what block we're building next. So this is... Small electric motor. This is... Electronic circuit. We've got our lithium, we've got plastic, sort of. Uh, can we auto-craft chemical plants? Small electric, steel beam, pipe, stone brick, glass. We need glass. And I don't believe I have stone brick being delivered. That is really going to be pushing it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we're going to be a bit close to full here. Maybe automation core so you don't need to run around, yeah. We can probably auto-craft the auto cores. Double automation, what does it mean? We can. Uh, okay. So I'll definitely put automation cores in the pre rec list. This is actually making it so much easier. And then... What was the other thing? Oh yeah, I was looking at the fact that we're running out of room here. where we've got, like, seven stacks remaining. I'm gonna push my luck and request stone brick, but we might end up having to... We might end up having to make multiple drop-offs to support this. Quite likely, actually. I could do one here. Except... No, I think... Because of the one big container, this is kind of our limit. Unless we do some storage somewhere else. And do some logic. Maybe it's about time I dismantle this and we can use the bot stuff. I can put a request to chest or several... Going into this thing, we can drop off the the items from the train network, put it into the logistic network, and then bring the logistic network items here as requested. And because the container is huge, we just don't worry about removing uh, items that are not part of the current recipe. Why don't you separate the ingots? Separate? What do you mean by that? But yeah, I think as long as we don't need to add another basic item that we're going to auto-craft into other things, 
Uh, we should never reach the point where we can't get one or the other item put into this chest. That should be okay. And our inserters are coming along quite quickly now. Very nice. How many have we got? Almost almost 200. What's our target? 200? For the yellows? We ran out of burners. So it's going to make burners again. And then we're going to run out of uh, inserter parts. And it's going to make inserter parts again. Not before we spam some more automation cores. But I think this will get us to blue inserters in the near future. Let's drop the long arm inserter request to... F Let's drop both of these to 50 for the moment. Can a chest for each ingot free up some space? Uh, yeah, it definitely would. Uh, in fact, we could put them over here. I'd need to put filters... I wish we had blacklist filters on the fast loaders. Maybe I should have just put it closer so we can use an inserter instead. I mean, we could with a little sneaky snake. Well, we'll cross that bridge when and if we need to add more. But hopefully by the time we get there, we just have bots anyway. And we'll redesign this thing. But not the logic. I'm loving the logic of the prerequisite system more than I thought I would. Even though we build every prerequisite before we build anything that uh, is handled just by item ID order. It's... It's working really nicely. I'm really liking it. Why is... Oh, no. Iron stick. Uh, okay. How about... How about this? How many iron sticks do we have? Zero. Why aren't we trying to put more in? Because there's no room. We should probably set a higher target than one stack for these. Give me that stone brick. As soon as Iron Stick reaches one stack. I'll just make room for it, and then it'll be reserved. I hope that's how that'll work. But if that's how that works, then we wouldn't have gotten here in the first place. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh, oh! I was gonna say, where are our blue inserters? We actually have 200. All of a sudden. Fantastic. And what about chemical plants? Uh, we need glass. I might just temporarily bring some glass over. We're not going to make glass here, so it doesn't really make sense to put it in the prerequisites, right? Chemical plant. Say 50. Should have dropped off the glass that I had. Give 
give me some of this. Lots of the bots bring me other things. No, you don't. And glass can go in here for now. Hmm, I could perhaps... Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Chemical plant, we need steel beam and pipe. Steel beam... You know what? It would actually be easier... If I just... Add these here. Steel beam, a hundred. Pipe, a hundred. We do need steel pipe for some things. And... It should switch to that as soon as it updates. Are pumps a prerequisite for something? I think they are. Not the steel pumps. Uh, yes, but nothing that we're going to make here. Okay. Is this thing not updating? Oh, I didn't put the chemical plant in the... in this side. And inserters are a high priority. Or at least the inserter parts. That's weird. I would have thought... 2272, 2270, 2268, 2267. So it's making inserter parts before steel beams. Or steel gear wheels, for that matter. I wonder why that is. We, we do make them in an assembler, right? Yeah, we do. Why is it not... What signal are we getting here? We don't have our prerequisites. Everything's negative. Oh, I think I see the problem. There we go. Is it switched on? Is it plugged in? Alright, so we're going to spam pipes, and then it's going to switch to one of these, and so on. Uh, and when we come back, hopefully we'll have some chemical plants. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yes, indeed. Does the red chest have green wire? Uh, do you mean the... In the Combinator? Yeah, it was missing it. Okay. Um, why don't we take our blue inserters and make uh, make small electric motors fast. And that bottleneck just disappeared. How much have we got here? About what I thought. And then same goes for assembly machines over here. We don't actually have them automated yet, but we should be able to handcraft them more easily. Automation core. There's only eight. Nope, there's 58. 
Nope. I need iron gear as well. Wait, did I put iron gear on this side? No, it got here because of uh, switching recipes. And now we need small electric. I shouldn't even be bothering with the green circuits right now. Um, we've got plenty. Let's add our assembly machine prerequisites. Let's see, stone brick. Well, we don't actually craft stone brick, so we're not going to put that here. Uh, auto core, iron plate, already done. Small electric burner assembly machine. Uh, small electric motor. Okay, yes. So basically, the series of assembly machines does include does have prerequisites, so we're going to put this on the side that requires prerequisites. Why are we stuck on auto cores? Iron stick again. Oh, don't tell me. No, I forgot to add iron stick here. It's fine. Oh, that was quick. I forgot I changed it. The response time, that is. So once that gets to 200, we should see it switch over. I'll keep it on its quick response time for the moment for testing. There's automation core. Switching recipes rather rapidly at the moment. Alright, what can we build while we wait for that? We need chemical plants. Uh, how many chemical plants do we have? Approximately zero. Exactly zero. I need steel beam, glass, and some other stuff. Uh, steel beams only down here. Considering how fast we can make iron beams here, I think I should just remove the request for iron beams. And we'll do iron beams on the spot. This is only with tier 1 speed modules as well. That'll free up a lot of space over here. Let me make room. Iron beam. Iron beam. I'm going to be crafting those for a minute. But more importantly, we've got slack in here now. And then... Uh, chemical plants. Fantastic. Uh, we did already have plastic technically working. It's just a bit... Wow, it's not that slow, is it? Well, now it's going to be slightly faster. Do we have... There's no water here. Why not? Water is being delivered. No, it's not. Uh, did I not? I didn't make this a provider station. That's why. When I moved it. Water was not negative. Uh, that might be an issue as well. Where are we going? 
So we're finally picking up the pace now. I don't need the stack threshold. I need the provide threshold. Oh, is someone coming? Right. Water. And then... Negative. That was not water, though. Oh, true. It was not negative. Good catch. Thank you. And this one. This one already has water. Oh, it was from when... It was from before I fixed this station, but then forgot to uh, put the combinator in. Okay. So, we have... That's weird. We've had exactly 44k of each fluid here for a long time. Oh, we ran out of sand. Oh, no. That's a problem. Uh, we probably don't have that much stone. We've got a couple of train loads of stone, at least. And then at least a couple more. It's a start, anyway. But I think we need a proper stone mine. Oh, there's actually three over here. Oh, that's a relief. We're not going to have to go that far for some stone that's going to last a good while. Here's three million down here. It's relatively far away. Um, but for now, we'll we'll use the sand, uh, stone that we've got in the network. I'll put... Hmm. How does this fit? Not very well. Uh, I think I'll put a sand build right here. Because the core fragments are definitely not going to be enough. The sand that we get directly from Cryonite, that is. And I think I blueprinted this actually, although it's it's a very simple build. Naturally. In fact I could probably put it in a half block next to our chlorine and stuff. Maybe I should put it closer to the stone. But we don't really have a lot of places. Uh, that's not true. We could put a block here. Have that comfortably close to this stone over here. Let's go build it. Is what I would say if it weren't time to finish up for today. Um, alright, where's our rail? That's good. Well, it's a start anyway. Let's see who is streaming nope. Factorio. Mucky, it's been a minute. Let's drop in on Mucky. Ridley? And Dallas Wall, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, till next time, stay safe. Take care, Ekane. Thanks for hanging out. Where are your blueprints? Uh, I'll put an updated copy of this book on the Discord shortly. Uh, you can also find them at this site, although I don't necessarily put everything there. Thank you, you're welcome. Alright, away we go.
that can go and have that. Ah oh, man, come on. Now I can 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 